Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Thursday. This is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 mm -hmm. games for reals. Uh, we're broadcasting at 60 frames a second. I hope. I think. Yes. Yeah. And uh, on Twitch live. And uh, we're going to be playing three games today. I love it. Oh, the hat. <laughs> the hat's for it's a purpose. Hat. It's for a purpose. We'll get to that. But in the meantime, she'll just be looking great with the hat there. Oh, thank you. Tanya is wearing a hat! <laughs> All in capital letters. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, three games today. Yes. 2600 games, 2600 night. Uh, we're going to be playing a Vroom, an exclusive work in progress update. We have mm -hmm. two exclusive games tonight. Mm -hmm. That's by Thomas Yench. And we're also going to be playing Local Hero 2 exclusive work in progress update that's by satyr's faction and the third game we're going to be playing is night guy in low res world castle days on the 2600 now we've played this a bunch on the 7800 but he's updated the 2600 version of it uh he's gone back to it so we're going to be playing that mm -hmm. uh Excellent. that's by vladimir zuniga yep. vhzc of HZC. course uh and we're also going to be drawing names out of a hat <laughs> for a plus card. So there was a contest on Atari Age forums uh, for drawing names to win a plus card. Nice. Um, and we'll be doing that at the end of the news. Excellent. Uh, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. 8-Bit Swami, Al the Fur Armscar, Coder, Cafe Man, uh, Charles and Chuck, Konkara, Dianoi, Dan, if you see Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Juan Urato, Carl G., Kai Gandor, uh, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Miss Command, Mem K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Mr. Zarno Wupa. That's a new name, I think. Mm -hmm. Same as uh, Kai Gandor. That's new names. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you for supporting the show. Uh, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Pack Rat VG, Quahog, RC70, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice Where S. Ramirez, Stephen A, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan K. Who's that? Uh, Teet Fos and Trek MD. Lovely. And you can support the show and subscribe for free too if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow, subscribe and like all the Facebook, Instagrams, Twitters because you get news before we announce it on the show, which is what we're going to do right now. Um, of course, right at the top, there's the massive news that if you are keeping right up to date <laughs> yeah. with everything, your finger mm -hmm. on the pulse of mm -hmm. Atari 2600 gaming. Mm -hmm. You know by now, by about an hour ago, <laughs> <laughs> um, that uh, something I've been hinting at for a little while, um, the show that's going to happen on Friday, this Friday, um, is going to be the worldwide premiere of Audacity's new game, Circus Convoy. And Audacity is made up of legendary mm -hmm. game creators for the Atari 2600. David Crane, Gary Kitchen, and Dan Kitchen. Of course, you know them from their amazing, amazing games. Um, Pitfall, Dragster. Um, oh, the cat's gone crazy, He's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> um, th th that's what David Crane has made. Um, Gary Kitchens made Keystone Capers, Pressure Cooker, and the Atari 2600 version of Donkey Kong. And Dan Kitchen has made Crackpots, Kung Fu Master, and Ghostbusters. And those are just a small sampling a of the tiny, games. A tiny, tiny sampling yes, of the games. Yes, but those yeah. are the, the big, really well-known well yeah. 2600 games. The yeah. cat is barf <laughs> barfing with <laughs> excitement. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Sounds about right, yeah. So let's take a look at the... Uh, oh, yeah, so on Friday, yeah. we're, we're going to be ha have the uh, worldwide debut of Circus Convoy, their first game under Audacity Games. That is their yep. uh, new company. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be interviewing them on the show. Yes. All three of them are going to be here live on the show while we play their new game. This is exclusive. First place they're coming yep. is Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> AG001. <laughs> is it? Maybe. Oh, it is. Yeah, you can see on the bottom corner nice. on the graphic, AG001 yeah. Circus Convoy. So we're very, very honored. honored yeah. Really. <laughs> That's no better word mm -hmm. that they chose Zero Page Homebrew mm -hmm. to uh, debut their game. Yes. 
um, so you guys can see the game first right here. <laughs> Basement is going to get pretty crowded. <laughs> it is. It's going to be a lot of people watching. Uh... Yeah. And they're great guys. Yeah, Dan ABC says they met them very, many years ago at Classic Gaming yeah. Expo in Vegas, and we've met them. We've had dinner with them. Yeah, they're all I great think, guys. Yeah, yeah, they were they were at Portland one year, and yeah, uh, so it was, it was really nice. It yeah. was. They were awesome. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, release here and read it out. So for immediate re release, and this was I was panicking an hour ago. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's it's time to announce. It's like order me food. I'm going to be down here for a while. Busy. <laughs> like, okay. I got a sh show to get ready and to announce this. Um, so I made a nice video. If you guys haven't seen the, the video I put up, um, put it up everywhere. Mm. Uh, uh, retro game publisher Audacity Games announces its flagship products. Game industry legends collaborate on two innovative new games. Uh, Danville, California. Audacity Games, a video game publisher focused on designing and publishing boxed game products for a variety of retro systems. A variety of retro systems. Cool. Yeah. Unveils its flagship games for play on the Atari 2600 video computer system. The brand new, never before released Circus Convoy designed by uh, for the Atari 26 and by David Crane and Gary Kitchen is a multi-screen action adventure where gamers play as Andre the Magnificent, a circus strongman tasked with finding a saboteur amongst among the speeding convoy trucks and sideshow trailers of a tra traveling big top circus. Mm -hmm. The game features a variety of nostalgic minigames, numerous circus props, and dozens of adventure-style puzzles to solve. Designed with innovative, state-of-the-art graphics, Circus Convoy will be available on the Audacity Games website portal on Saturday, March 13th, the day after we premiere it, mm -hmm. at select retro video game stores and, and at select retro video game stores this quarter. That's very cool. That is very, very, very cool. Well, Gary and I were among the forerunners in the video game industry and developed software techniques that advanced the state-of-the-art in the 1980s. We did not stop there. Audacity Games co-founder David Crane said, With Circus Convoy, we have expanded our methods to include things never seen in a game for the Atari game console. Co-founder Gary Kitchen added, We always enjoyed the challenge of squeezing the most gameplay out of the limited Atari hardware. We did it again with Circus Convoy and using only hardware available at the time of Pitfall and mm. Keystone Capers. Audacity's second game, Casey's Gold, which is the new name mm -hmm. for... Um, uh, was it Gold Rush? Gold Rush, yes. that's right. Yeah. So it's renamed Casey School. Mm -hmm. Designed for the Atari 2600 by Dan Kitchen is scheduled for release in summer 2021. Nice. Kitchen's game, originally announced, oh, there it is, in 2018 as Gold Rush, features a train conductor uh, named Casey O'Kelly who must search for lost gold bars aboard a runway-style steam train. The game features dozens of unique car train cars, numerous animated obstacles, and over 50 levels of gameplay. When asked about the game, Kitchen said, Casey's Gold originally began in the 1980s as a spiritual successor to Gary Kitchen's Keystone Capers, but has made giant leaps from my original plans. Very cool. About Audacity Games. Audacity Games is a premium retro game publisher founded by legendary game designers David Crane, Gary Kitchen, and Dan Kitchen. Every game produced by Audacity Games is manufactured to order, and each copy is customized with a unique serial number. Every game connects to the internet through your connected mobile device for registering high scores, gives the player a chance to earn a physical high score patch, so new patches, mm -hmm. uh, like those from the golden era of the 2600 games, and comes in a full color box with color label and printed manual to add to your game collection. Mm -hmm about the founders david crane everybody here knows who these people are but yeah. i'm gonna say it anyway yeah <laughs> david crane one of the most successful video game designers of all time is best known for his smash hits pitfall dragster and ghostbusters to name just a few because he did ghostbusters on the c64 and i played that the hell out of that as a kid mm. um and the music was playing just before the show i know which is <laughs> crazy yeah and and um down there it says dan kitchen made ghostbusters for the 2600 as nice. well uh, Gary Kitchen's work spans five decades of success with such hits as Keystone Capers, Pressure Cooker, and the Atari 2600 version of Donkey Kong. Dan Kitchen rounds out the trio with over 40 years of game design experience, creating such games as Crackpots and the Atari 2600 versions of Kung Fu Master, which is an awesome version, mm -hmm. and Ghostbusters. And there's a little trademark stuff down there that doesn't need to be read. Um, so, huge, huge news. I don't want to get into it any more than that. Mm -hmm. 
because I know a bunch of stuff already. And you don't want it to accidentally I, come out, I right? I don't want to accidentally <laughs> say it. Um, so people can speculate yep. all they want about mm -hmm. the things that are happening in the game and the cartridge they showed and the, <laughs> the board they showed, which people have done. No cat cam. Oh, oh no. no. It's on. It's just... I do video conferencing, so... Yeah, you... Ow! <laughs> it moves around. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he, he, you've been moving it a lot, so I think you keep forgetting that it's, um, there not set up go. when you start. No. Yeah. There you go. Yep. I see feet. I see controllers. Where are the cats? There we go. There's a cat cam. Thanks for a reminder. Perfect. All right. The 3DS are out of stock. Anybody have 3D? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that's huge, huge, huge news. Uh, it's going to be at a special time on Friday, 4 p.m. Oh, <laughs> here comes the cats. Uh, ding. <laughs> ding. Yeah, it's here. Do you have the bell? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was upstairs. No, this is the best place for it. Oh, this cat. It's, I don't know if you could hear him running. It's a console cat. Tup, 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 tup. Yeah. Um, so the Friday show will be at a very special time. It's 4 p.m. Pacific, yes. 7 p.m. Eastern. So take the day off work if you're Pacific. Mm. Um, you want to be here. They're going to be here live. They're going to be answering your questions about their games mm. and everything else that you want you to know. ask. Yeah. They'll be here live. So <laughs> you want to be here live. You don't want to miss it. Um, this is their first interview of ever about their new company. And, and about new their game. new game. Mm -hmm. And we'll be playing the game here live. We'll have the cartridge. We'll have the box. We'll have everything. We'll have all the goodies. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. <laughs> and, exciting. and we're going to be, uh, Tanya's going to be playing it. I am. I am really excited about that. <laughs> I, I really am. Um, 6 p.m. Central. Yep. And so it's going to be a fun time. So make sure you're here. We'll be promoting it all the way up to Friday. Oh, I got to rub it in. Why don't you? Sorry. Well, you'll be able to play it on Saturday. So, no worries there. You only have to wait a day. Um, so, la, 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 la. so I'm going to, if you want to have some questions ready, you can put them in the forums beforehand. I'll start a thread uh, somewhere on the Atari 2600 um, forums, or you can post it under my Facebook posts or Instagram or Twitter posts, and I'll, mm. and I'll write them down. Yeah. And um, because... If you're here on Friday, I expect it to be a little busier than normal. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a tiny busier mm -hmm. than normal. Mm -hmm. So your question might go off the screen, so it's best to probably get it in early. Early, yeah. And yeah. there's a higher chance that I'll be able to, to ask them that question. Yeah. Prepare uh, ahead of time. Yeah, okay. prepare ahead of time. And speaking of interviews, I was interviewed recently yeah on the console shock podcast so they talk to people in the retro gaming community yeah um trev and Stu, they're from the uk um and they asked me about zero page homebrew and the homebrew scene in general nice so uh i'm just going to show you um there's the picture Here. so console shock uh it went up yesterday so it's youtube Ding, ding. There you go. Oh, <laughs> you tree flipped it over. Oh, Andrew Davey listened to that interview already. Hopefully nice. I did not make a fool of myself. <laughs> One person already listened to it and posted, I really, really enjoyed listening to it. So Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I made uh, several mistakes <laughs> <laughs> in my terminology or knowledge, um, but we'll see. You got most of this tech stuff okay, and that's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mediocre. That's what we aim yeah. for around here. <laughs> I'm okay. uh, a jack of all trades, but doing them all mediocrely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're interested in hearing me talk even more than normal, um, you can uh, go over there and get another one hour and 36 minutes mm. of me exclusively talking and not playing any games. Um, <laughs> And thank you. That was is a very good photo uh, taken by my friend Giovanna, who's my film partner. Um, and uh, yeah, so I thought I'd use that one nice. for the, for the uh, interview. So yeah, it's up there. It's uh, episode number seventy-seven, which is a great number. Mm -hmm. That's the year the Atari was released. Excellent. So just coincidentally, I'm number seventy-seven. Um, there you go. All done. 
Sorry, I'm I'm distracted with cat. So he said, uh, "Amazing things are happening on the granddaddy of all, all consoles." Actually, I'll put it back up. Yeah. Uh, the legendary Atari 2600. We welcome James from Zero Page Homebrew onto the show, and we talk about some of the stunning homebrew Atari 2600 games that are being developed by the 2600 programming community. Yep. I couldn't reveal what was happening on Friday when I did the interview, which was about a week ago. Oh, I see. But I do hint something big is happening on that Friday. That's mm -hmm. all I could say. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is also how James got started with Zero Page Homebrew, what actually is video game homebrew, the crazy limitations of 2600 and how mm -hmm. homebrews work, how bro homebrewers work around them, flash carts in the 2600, what are the options? <laughs> Online gaming on the 2600, it's real. Uh, great, yeah, I talked about the plus cart, the which plus is a cart. great segue to the next thing. Mm -hmm. uh, great 2600 homebrew titles and the emerging Atari 20, 7800 homebrew scene and great modern ways to play Atari 2600 games. And Star Wars. Well, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to have to listen to that podcast on my drive into work. No? <laughs> yeah, you can. But it's, it's an hour and a half, so it'll be several drives oh, that's into quite, work. That's quite a long. Yeah, that's quite long. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't hear me enough? No? <laughs> well, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, the next thing is, uh, speaking of Atari's connecting up to the internet, this one does. It's a plus card mm. by Al Nefer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give not this one away, because mm -hmm. this is mine. <laughs> but we're going to give one away that uh, Andrew Davies is going to get in touch with you Excellent. and get your details to send it out to you. Excellent. If you put your name in for the contest that okay. we talked about an episode, two episodes ago, one episode mm -hmm. ago, you had your chance. Uh, so I have a stack of names here. Oh, it looks like a decent stack. Oh, yeah. There's a good selection of names here. And um, so Andrew Davy said, uh, the poll is closed, thanks to those who voted. The clear winner is Glacial Bell, which I voted for. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, yeah which yeah. pleases me, as it's my favorite by far. Here's a list of those who did everything right, and thus are in the draw for the free, free plus card I offered. The winner will be drawn from a literal hat. Literal hat. Oh, let's uh, go back. We're done with that story. There we go. Literal uh, hat. There's the literal hat. Yeah. Um, and a very, a very soon episode by Zero Page Homebrew. So, um, the people who, whose names I have here, uh, Captain Classic, Mr. Zarnawoop, Bite Guy Chicago, uh, Alfred TDK, Gemini Tronic, Gemin, Gemin Tronic, I always say Gemini, <laughs> Gemin Tronic, Pat Brady, da, Dan Aya Covelli, Steven, Roger Poco, Jasper AK, Miss Command, Crossbow, Vitoko, Ground Trooper, Bomberman94, Kohog, 7800Guy, and Alien Soldier. Um, there was a couple of people who withdrew their names, even though they voted and made a mm. comment, such as myself. I don't need any more. Yeah. I don't need another You just wanted card. to vote. You didn't want need Yeah, I just card. wanted to yeah. vote. So here are all the names. Uh, so we're going to fold them up in halves. Okay. Just so here, I'll give you half of them. Okay. So that we don't see them. We're going to lift it above our head anyway. Yes. And I'm going to mix them up in the hat. It's a very cute hat. Mostly found in Ghibli Studios anime. Yes. <laughs> it's basically, I, I, I ah. it is a bowler hat. I always look at it as being kind of like the Japanese schoolgirl hats. Yeah, that's where you usually see it. You don't see many straw bowler hats around. <laughs> Not here. No. no. And, uh... Pre-chosen winner tucked in the bag. <laughs> That's right. It'll be my name. I want a third one. No. Atari is very excited. Oh, Although I'm are you going to draw? Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe we should have him root around root pick, around, and pick it out with a paw. <laughs> okay, so. All right. Let's shuffle these up. Do I get to pick it? Yes. Yay! So it's well above our heads. So let's All right. Move them Mix around. It around. Let me see. Okay. Okay. I think I've got one. Just one? Yep. yep. Not two? Nope. Okay. Let's okay. see. Who is it? And the winner is Gemintronic. Congratulations, Gemintronic, Gemintronic on winning Gemintronic. your plus card. Sorry. So, Andrew Davey. Actually. Oh. I want to go here? to the. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't, don't step on things. There you go, Gemintronic. Congratulations. Good job. Nope, nope. There you go. Good job on Yay. winning on putting your name in. 
Okay. Hey, toss it back in the hat if you want. No, let's put it on okay. So you win a plus Yay! card, uh, and Davy will be in contact with you um, through the uh, through the Atari Age forums. Mm. Yep. Um, so congratulations. You will love it. It's a lot of fun, and there's so much you can do with it. And so uh, let's get on with the games. Mm -hmm. The first game we're going to be playing is Vroom. Oh, you're very welcome, Andrew Davy. It was a lot of fun <laughs> doing the draw, <laughs> and very little effort. Very easy. Just had to print them out and cut them out. Um, so this is an exclusive uh, work in progress update for, uh, from Thomas Yench. Mm -hmm. and usually he doesn't um, do exclusive games. He doesn't mm. restrict access to his games. He just puts them out. But he is taking part in the revision demo party game competition Okay. this year. It's a game development competition? Yes. Okay. Um, it's, it's a... A gathering in Germany mm. that usually f it does focus on demos, but they also have game competitions as well. Oh, that's cool. So, and it's happening April 2nd to 5th, 2021. Mm. It's doing it virtually this yes, year, yeah, as obviously. it did it last year. Mm. Uh, Revision is a demo party held yearly on Easter since 2011, usually in Saarbrücken, sorry, <laughs> uh, the state capital of Saarland. I'm sure that's wrong. How, so. how is it? S A A? I'm sure it's said a different way, the two A's. I can't even see it. Where is it? Right there. Oh, Sarland? Yeah. Sarland? Sarbrücken? Yeah, that's, uh, that sounds roughly right. <laughs> located in southwest Germany. Mm. Uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we had to change it to a live stream only event since 2020. Mm. An event purely from and for the demo scene revision features everything you could wish for. Multi-platform competitions, socializing and party, awesome seminars, music, and special events. And I've watched bits and... Uh, bits here and there of it, and they've got it. Um, they've, that's the place mm. for demos. For If you make demos, if you like demos, that's the place that's they the place. really come out. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Um, oh, they're talking about stuff that's distracting me. <laughs> Crossbow. No, no, nothing. Uh, he's He's got to run, but he was just <laughs> oh, okay. mentioning the new game from Audacity. Yes, 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 yes. We're very excited about that. And Dan Kitchen's game, too, mm -hmm. in the summer. Mm-hmm. Um, which I'm sure we'll do another interview with Dan Kitchen. Oh, yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And, and and premiere that game as well. Um, so, do, 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 so, yes, he said, currently I'm focusing on party game mode because I plan to submit the game to the revision demo party game competition. Um, so let's take a look at it. Um, we're going to plug it in through the Quadtari because we have one, and this is the way you would play it with eight players, with would be through these. Can you hold these? So we've got the quad tari here and we're going to plug it into port number one and the paddles emulate left and right on a joystick. Not emulate, they are the same pins as left and right on a joystick. Okay. So when you plug it into port one, it's kind of like you're either pressing left or right on a joystick. Okay. That's how that's, that kind of works. And that's why paddles are able to be uh, used with the quad tari. Just for the button, though. Okay. There we go. Oh, I think I'm going to have to unplug them. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, another cat. Another cat looking hey, for treats. Pixel. Is he looking for treats? Probably. Oh, yes, we definitely mentioned it. <laughs> that is the biggest news in a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, okay. Oh, cat, cat, cat away. Oh, it does work. Good. Room, NTSC. We're in NTSC land. Okay, mm -hmm. so this has been updated quite a bit. Okay. Since we last played. I, I notice even the top of the screen is, is, is new. different. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, we played it like its first incarnation where you could actually finish the game. That was, he's added a lot to it, a ton, that's for sure. Um, so, Thomas Yench said, looking forward to your playtesting. I suppose uh, you can win the normal yellow variations, but I doubt you can do the same in hard mode. Else mm -hmm. I have to tweak the AI. <laughs> so you're saying if we beat it, it's too easy? Okay. Thomas, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Um, so gameplay plus select to, uh, select the game length. So right in now it's at 30 seconds. 
So there's 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 90 seconds. So we'll start off at 30 seconds. No, you can't do anything. It's a, you do it on the end. And yeah. the difficulty. Blue is kids. Green. Oh, it started. Oh, it's doing demos. Okay. It's demo mode. Well, that's good. I can get the volumes adjusted here. Oh, look at the colors. Yeah, so the that's the computer the playing. <gasps> wow. Gorgeous. Um, so blue equals kids, green equals easy, yellow equals normal, red equals hard. Okay. Um, so we will start off with the kids mode. Okay. Just to... Just to give it a try. Just to give it a try. It we goes. should be able to just trounce. Yeah. Oh, and... Dark red wins. And it gives Very you nice. how far you went. So because it's all on one screen, yes, you can't really tell if you're way behind. It that's not accurate. Like the I guess so. Yeah, because you each, have to show them all. Yeah, because each row is independent. Can you wrap around though? Because the last time it's we not played, a, you could. It's not a lap. No, it's a straightaway. No, but lap the screen, because that no. happened last time. I don't think it did. No. Okay. No. Okay. Um, like you would go off the screen, come back on. Yeah. No. It, no okay. It's too confusing. Um, so let's, the new version is not available for all plus cards. No, it is not. Yeah. No. Just the testers. Yes. So this is restricted to just testers. Testers right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, and after the competition is over, because it's in the rules of the competition, it can't be a publicly available game. Oh, until compete. after, until after maybe? Until after. And then, then he can make it publicly available. Okay, cool. So we're just kind of testing it out right now. Okay, so the modes are, oh, oh, I see, you scroll through it, green, yellow, and you do all the different la levels. So we're going to do a short kids, which is blue, I just passed it, blue 30. Okay. All right. Uh, I, can I, I have to jump back. Okay. And do you know how to do this? Um, you put it's just a one button game. One button. Yeah. You press it when you're over the arrows. Don't yes. press it yep. when you're. We played it last time. <laughs> okay. Just can't remember what was in it. Oh, press your button. Press your button. Okay, I'm yellow. You're blue. Two seconds. Oh, I think you're second. beating me. Oh. Oh. Oh, you just <laughs> beat me. Oh, by three meters. Three meters. <laughs> right at the end, I missed one. Nice. So we did not, like, we didn't beat the red guy by much there. Not enough to make me feel confident about the next level. But <laughs> we did beat this level, so we're going to go on to the next level, <laughs> which is not kids. I guess it's easy mode. Thank you, Esther Mary. Photo. It was a photo finish. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't tell till they put the. No, I couldn't either. The uh, the numbers up on the screen. That's excellent. Uh, so that's awesome. So green mm -hmm. is the next one. I think thirty seconds is plenty. Yeah, I agree. Okay, ready? Press your button. Press your button, and hold it down to start. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, you're last? Oh, I was last. I had to adjust my hand at one one point though. Oh, I trounced. Yeah, trounced. Well, you beat the red trounced. guy too. So is the red one kind of your maybe your pace? You want to beat that? I'm not sure if the AIs are always the same. Mm. I don't know if he said that. Hmm? Could use a replay feature like Food Fight has. I yeah. think. Did you suggest uh, that in the form? Somebody suggested that. I think that, that exact wording. Hey, Spiceware. Oh, we didn't say who was in the chat. That's uh, okay. We'll do it. We'll do we'll it. We'll do later. it. 
We'll do it at the end, for sure. Yeah, no. You want to do it now? You can do yeah, it now. Yeah, we'll do it now. Because <laughs> I want to make sure that we don't miss that. So um, so thanks for hanging out with us. Esther Mayers, Alan the First, Spice Square, Dan ABC, Spry Bug, Nathan Strum, Vitoko, Splendid Nut, Crossbow, no, Nomdi Game. Nomdi Game. Nomdi Game. <laughs> Uh, the D-Train. Andrew Davey, Let's Fiero Doug, in. Old School 70. Metal Lunar. Canadian Tenor, Fitoko. Great Offender. Yay, lots of people. Lots of people. All the peoples. Oh, anybody else? That's we got all them. Yeah. Really stuck right now. There we go. Okay. Excellent. See, that was quick and painless. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the game. So, uh... Well, we're gonna we're going to advance because I beat that one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No. If that's okay. Do it. No. I. I uh... So the next one's yellow, which is normal. Which really, you should be able to beat, or people should be able to beat. It's normal. Push button. Qualify. tough normal is tough not that far behind but enough enough <laughs> it is very impressive it's a very fast moving game yes. and if people don't know you can have actually eight players eight players in this game you do not have to have the quad tari anymore to play really? this game he has made it so you can use normal controllers which is what we're going to do now oh i see so you can have four you can or have you, four. Can, you can do eight if you have quad tari that yeah. is really cool I don't know if he has set it to auto sense after you've started the game. Yeah, with the Quatari. Mm. Yeah, like if I disconnect it, mm. we'll see. Will it be okay? Um, so we're gonna play that again because sure. I didn't beat it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So Try I don't it again. Think, uh, Thomas has any issues with me beating hard. Mm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, it works. Pressure button. Pressure button. Pressure button. There you go. Really have to maximize for sure to beat these guys on normal. So fast. Oh, I missed one. It's like the old Activision games, if you miss one thing, it's not your it's not happening. Oh, I beat it! Oh my Woo! god. Good job. I think there's some randomizations. Well, maybe not. What did I get well, I last time? Well, I didn't come last. <laughs> I almost got 3,000 meters. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you were at, you're at 29 something, I think. Good job. Yeah. So, if people don't know you, because we didn't explain it. No, we didn't actually. <laughs> we just jumped into it because yeah. I asked you, you know the, how to play? I'm like, I know how to play. Let's play this. Everybody doesn't know how to play. <laughs> okay. You want to press the button on the arrows when your mm. car is touching the arrows. You don't want to press a button when you're not touching the arrows. And you can see it flashes black. If you hit the button before you're supposed to or you uh, hold or it after. too long, yeah. it goes black and it actually slows the car. Yeah. So that's it why. It breaks. And you hear the braking. This. Yeah. He's added that in. Oh. Ah, yeah. Cool. So I'm going to let you play and I'm going to read out some hand. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ready? Figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to set you back one. Or do you want to do this one? No, too? do this one again. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Press your button. Do you have to press it to start it? Well, you, no, but you maximize your speed if you're holding it down. But you have to press the button to say, I'm part of this race. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then hold down the button when you start because you're on an arrow, or else you're just wasting wasting acceleration. Okay. There's even more to this. We're going to be uh, playing. There's another option that we haven't seen yet. Uh, during the countdown, uh, each player must press his fire button to activate his or her car. <sighs> the activated oh, cars will become brighter. How did the that other, happen? <laughs> the other cars will be controlled by the computer AI. After the countdown, the race starts. Oh, I got the sound. 
No, it got got well, all out of whack at one point. <laughs> it was doing well for a while. So far, it's working. We didn't have to restart it. It's amazing. So it must sense every time you restart the game. Because plugging in a paddle directly, is that the same as a quad? Actually, it would act the same, wouldn't it? If I was plugged into a different port, no, it acts the same, yeah. Love the sound effects. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, it's awesome. Second again. Make me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, pressing Whoa. the button, it makes a breaking sound, and it turns your arrows black. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I have beaten Ooh. normal. So now it's time for hard. All right. Which is red. Yes. It does make me a little dizzy, I have to say. <laughs> very fast moving. Press your button. I don't have to press it. You do. Don't keep saying that. Or why, else you're not in the race. Why am I so slow? You have to press what it or you're not going? in the race. What is going on here? Yeah, I've definitely lost now. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Give you a hint I wasn't holding it long enough. That was one of the problems, was I was pulling it away because I was worried about slowing oh, down. Terrible. That was awful. <laughs> awful. It started so badly. Oh, I got in fifth. And stop yelling at me to hold the button. I don't. I'll hit it when I'm ready to hit it. <laughs> you might not be in the race. No, I did it. At the first time we played it, I, I just hit it when, when the alarm went off. Hey! I gotta stop. Hey, gotta you stop. and your rage resetting. <laughs> Damn it. So, it's, it's actually slowing you down more, I think, in the hard. Feels like it. Maybe. It's a possibility. He doesn't say that the braking is. Kicks in more. Kicks in more. One of, the, one of the computer players is breaking terribly. Even though I'm not doing much oh, better. That was terrible. Still fifth. The red one is consistently getting first place, I think. Now, yeah. it's uh, And the distance is further for the yes. red mm. than the last round. So. Ooh. Oh, you were controlling two cars after you removed the Quadtari. Oh, am I? Yeah, that's why those oh, two, the silver why. and purple, are not doing very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's, uh, well, that's kind of funny. Let's fix that. <laughs> yeah. That is very funny. Oh, God. Yeah. It seems that you need to power off the game when you remove connect the, the Quadtari. Well, that's good to know. Yep. eyes get so dry <laughs> I have to blink yeah you can't because I'm like staring at oh. it like this I'm like never mind ah, about no no, no. <laughs> ne never mind about being in uh, fifth place yeah it says oh. it looks like you're still controlling two cars but that's okay uh, still play it just fine is it? oh it is what is happening mm. I don't have the quad tires plugged in at all I am are you Pressure button? Yep. Now purple and press it, please. Purple and blue, yeah. Uh that's really weird. I don't know how to fix that. Because I don't let's try it again. With them it assumes quadtari. Can you do your paddle? And uh, try and start it? This we'll one? Yep. I know it won't actually start the actual game because of issues. And DSC. Yep. Oh, it did this time. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see if this works. 
So it, it assumes Quantari if you have... Ah, there we go. If you have nothing plugged in. Oh, right away. So this is going to make it harder because two of them are not like incompetent fools pressing at the wrong True. time. So we really were coming in last. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were. We were. <laughs> it gives you the false sense that you're <laughs> you're doing better than you are. Last. Oh, you beat one person. I beat one person. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, hard is hard. Yeah, hard is hard. You have to be perfect. Yeah, you have to maximize and never get black. Before or after, because if you do it before, you're slowing blink, down. Blink. <laughs> There's no good time to blink. <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> Why are you beating me? How? Yeah! How about last? Oh, that was pretty good. Wow. Fourth. Fourth. It's the blinking. You can't blink. <laughs> blink. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's intense. My goodness. That is intense. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go back to. Oh, which one is the um, normal? Normal. Uh, yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Play it for real, because we didn't actually... Did we? I didn't come in first. Yes, you for did. For sure. Yeah, you did. When did we oh, switch yellow? From, when did we switch from Quatari? Oh, Quatari? I started so poorly. When did we switch from Quatari? I don't know. <laughs> that was just for hard. Okay. Then I did get in first properly? I think you did, okay. yeah. I'm not doing it now. I have messed a up on a couple. It's, it's a momentum game. Ooh, Ooh. Third, third. That was good. That third, was good. Third, third. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Just switch my hand. Yeah. At least it's one button. <laughs> you can press it any way you like. Ah. Oh. I think the arrows are random. Mm. Because sometimes there's a bunch of twos, sometimes there's no twos at all. Oh, you, yeah, but we all get the same ones, oh, don't yeah, we? For sure. Yeah, Oh, that would be unfair if we didn't. If everybody got, if one person got a bunch of twos and. Oh, I'm doing terrible. I'm being too conservative. Me too. Way oh. too conservative. Oh my god. Okay. That is not an easy game. Um, no, but it's perfect. I think it's actually the the hardness is is it's perfect. very good. Yeah. yeah. Tanya is not playing. I'm not I, playing. I told her to press a button. I was. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm playing. Did. Now you did. No, I I was playing before. I said you weren't. Oh no, I wasn't. There was no black coming up. Right. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Hmm. You have to press the button before start. Well, there you go. You so, were right. <laughs> um, the left difficulty switch to A activates a red colored super boost arrows. Mm. These occur randomly and provide twice the boost of a normal arrow. So we've set that to on. Okay. We're going to check out the super boosts. Push your button. See what they oh, super boost. Everybody gets at the same time. I mean the same place. It's not random. It's random, but Rand everyone gets it. It's not yeah. random, f depending on the player. I can tell I'm behind because I can see p other people getting them before me. It's like, hey, where's mine? Oh, that was terrible. Oh. terrible. Okay, normal is is not. <laughs> it's not easy. Not easy. Okay, I think that's it. I think it. half the time I wasn't <laughs> playing, it wasn't it wasn't registering. 
It is hard on the wrist. That's hard on the it's, wrist. It's, it's the physical pushing. Pushing and over and over and you, you, that way. you feel like pressing that way. it really. Yeah. Um, so this version supposedly says uh, supports high score tracking for the current game variation. Mm -hmm. If you switch variations or left difficulty, the high score is reset to zero. Mm. So it says 2671. And I guess that's the highest human player score. Two six seven one. Which was my score yes. on this last one. So that let's makes sense. see. Let's do one more. Okay. Just Try to, to get see it working. <laughs> Two six seven one. always mess oh, up. I mess up towards the end. So what did I get? Oh, I got more. Worst. And now we replaced it. Yeah. Yeah. Not the worst. Not the worst. Uh, on the two, Oof. on the double ones, yep. I almost always mess it up because it's so short of a time. Oh, I know. And then it slows you down. You end up breaking. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But I found if you don't press the button on those, you slow down even you more. You slow down even more. Yeah, you still have to, <laughs> you just kind of go tap, tap, tap. Just to <laughs> catch it. Yep. It's a really, really great game. It's I so don't know cool. how long you can play it for. It's you might want to look into different I do, ways to play it. I, I do know. have a suggestion, and yep. it is this: the issue that I was having, where I thought I was playing, but I wasn't. Yes. If there was a flag or something to register that you something to register yes. shows goes that. And no, it, but it and doesn't it stay up your on car. the screen. And it lights up your oh, car. Oh, it does too. light up your car. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't really obvious, so that makes that makes more sense. Yeah. I mean, you could make it even more obvious by changing the color of the track temporarily. Or even the arrow, because I was going to say, if, if you know how you hit the arrow and it turns turns Your blue? Color. That, yeah. yeah. And, it, and, and keep it that color? Yeah. But... Just as you start? I mean, or is that it's, not possible? It's an indicator of you pressing the button. I just didn't notice right. it was so subtle, the blue change. But if you look at the But now that you pointed it out, it makes more sense. If you look at the opponents, yeah. watch them as they start. They're all... They stay dark. They're all color they're, because they're pressing it. Interesting. Right? No one's playing, but it's still running. <laughs> it's demo mode, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's zero to eight players, actually. That's true. It's not one to eight players. It's zero to eight it's players. Zero to eight players. <laughs> I guess um, you could throw bets down to see which of which of the uh, racers is going to win. Look at how they do it. Watch their arrows. They're flashing. Is that something you're supposed to be doing? Is pressing your button rather than Tapping? holding? Yeah. Like they're going nuts on their button. They're going like this. slower. I'm definitely going slower by tapping it. Why does it show them kind of looking, looks like they're tapping the button. Just the animation too. Could be. Oh yeah, holding it is way faster. I'm way behind. Hey. The stripes light, stripes light up, yes. Yeah. No, but now that I see the color change, I, I notice it, but you okay. never, yeah, if, um, that's, that's, that works just fine. Um, 2701. There you go. Okay, so awesome game. I like game. it a lot. <laughs> it's have... really fun. How many games can you play with eight people? Uh, one. <laughs> well, there's a couple. No, is this this is the first eight person game. Was there another one, or is this the only eight player game right now? I think it's the only eight player game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all brand eight new. The, all the quad Atari games. It's so are... cool, though. <laughs> yeah, this is the only game you can play yeah. with eight players on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, anyway. Um. So. I have no suggestions for this. No. Uh, it works perfectly. Um, I, I guess, other than, I don't know why you would start the game without any controllers plugged in, but it does default to the Quad Tari with no controllers plugged in. You have to have the paddles plugged in for it to go, oh, you have paddles, mm. rather than, no, you have a Quad Tari. I don't know which is better, because it does 
has to default to one. Or it could keep checking every time before it starts a game. Mm. I don't know how why you would swap them out mid-game either, but I don't know. It's it's just a thing that we encountered. Um, there is no reason to do it any other way, but it's just a just a thing to, to note. Right? Yeah. It is awesome. Yeah. It, it everything about it's cool. The sound is cool. The the race cars uh, look really really nice. I also the like stripy race I cars. I like how as you're getting close to the finish line, it goes from green to yellow to red, so you know you're getting close. It oh, builds a does? little bit of the top. So oh, it goes from green to yellow right. to red. So as you're getting closer to the finish line, it becomes red, so you know you're getting towards the end. Yes. Um, not that it changes how you play it, but it just it creates a bit of like and the cars inch along anxiety a little bit too. Yeah. As yeah, it gets closer. As it gets closer. Relative, though. But it's nice because yeah. it gives you your relative kind of positioning. Like, you know you're in first place. You're a little place, further behind little... or further forward. Yeah. I, it, it's really, really well done. Well thought out. Yeah. And I, I believe it's a 4K game. He upped it from 2. Okay. Because he's like, oh, I can add a lot to this. Yeah, with so a couple more K, yeah. 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 So, Very super cool. awesome. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> the game is amazing. So now we're going to move on to the second game. Uh, Local Hero. Yes. Is that an RPG? Uh, yes. Ish. Yes, ish. Uh, I don't think I need a second control mm. for any of the other games. There we go. Hold up a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. So, Local Hero 2 by Satyr's Faction, mm -hmm. Mike Indovina. I've got instructions here. Mm -hmm. Local Hero 2. Now, we've played this before, this game, but this is quite an overhaul. Of, of the game. He's completely Probably changed the look it. of it. Okay, okay. He's changed the way you select characters. He's okay. changed the view on it. Mm -hmm. um, so let's take, let's start it off. So this is your character selection screen. Now you can select uh, male or female. And then you select your, oh, your superhero. superhero. Oh my. Now I can only, like that She-Hulk and Iron Woman <laughs> and then Captain America, and that's um, you're going too fast. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Who I don't know that one. No. Don't know that one. That's Cyclops. That's um, Green Lantern. Green what Lantern. Don't know that person. Oh, I don't know that person. Don't know that person. <laughs> Purple outfit. Don't know that person. Don't know that person. It could just be nope. random colors at this point. No. Keep going. Oh, that's from the movie. Um, the one that did really well and and uh, nobody had heard of them before the movie. The one with the the raccoon and the and Groot. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're already past it, so we can't even see it now. Okay, keep going. Don't know that one. Don't know that one. That Super looks Woman like Superwoman. Or Supergirl. Or, uh, and that's Flash. And well, we'll go with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. So, power. powers. Slow down. Uh, so, choose power one. So, there's Blast, Strong, Flight, Sense, Phase, Cloak, Speed, Snare, Jinx, Clone, Armor, Rewind, Block, Morph. There's a lot of info here. Uh, 15 powers to choose it from. Some are attack oriented, some defensive, some function constantly, others need to be activated and last just a short time. Powers that need to be activated are include Phase, Cloak, Clone, and Morph on the combat screen, and Flight and Morph on the screen view. All other activated powers are activated at once. Certain power-up combinations won't work well together or simply redundant. For example, there's no advantage to using Cloak and Phase at the same time. All powers only function while your superhero identity. So maybe you can pick My some goodness. that you think you want to hear about. Oh. Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. There we um, go. Still don't know her name. Not good more, not good more. Yeah, some with a G. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know I know who you mean now, yeah. but I can't remember her name. Now, uh, blast. Use the combat when at long range to make a ranged attack. 
So Blast is an offensive. Yeah. Strong, super strength. That's hand-to-hand -hand combat. Flight, fly through the air. I remember picking that one. Mm -hmm. It was really good because you don't have to go around buildings. Mm -hmm. But it's just going around buildings. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use it for something else. Super speed. Sense has x-ray vision, which was really, really good for finding things in buildings. Oh, true. 100% choose that. Phase can be insubstantial, like a ghost, to move through solid objects. It kind of sounds like flight. Mm -hmm. uh, cloak, uh, obscure temporary location, uh, location temporarily, becoming invisible. Um, activate in the same way cloak. Speed, super speed, which would be good for fighting. Mm -hmm. Snare, uh, use like blast power, uh, stops the opponents from moving for a while. Jinx, causes bad luck. Automatic nice. in combat, so they trip or stop moving or stop attacking. That's pretty good. Clone, you can duplicate yourself. Um, works for a short period of time. Nail it, it's like multiple people, multiple use attack. Oh, yes, yeah. I yeah, think we yeah. saw that. I think we saw that one. Armor, you have armor or force field uh, decreases the amount of damage that dealt to you rewind hero can move back in time setting the clock back a few hours wow. give more time to fight or deal with the secret identity's life this is activated by pressing the select switch hmm. cool. block you can block with a shield morph you can change shape to take form of various animals on uh, the street view and you can become a bird to fly over buildings ah. wow Heal, you can heal yourself. So that one's pretty good. So you have three, I think. Uh, what should we pick first? Um, let's do an offensive one. Um, you can do blast. Oh, it only circles. It goes through one way. Yeah, that was when I was looking at this. My suggestion is go back, be able to go yeah, back, back one. and forth. Because it's only forward. Um, so snare is offensive, strong, like blast. blast. Except when the opponent is hit, he will stop moving and attacking. Hmm. Uh, let's try snare. Okay. Snare kind of freezes the the person. Yep. Um, I like the idea of sense. sense actually, sense is so good. You find all the stuff right away. Sense or heal, I guess. Oh, you only get two. Yeah. Okay. So it has changed to an overhead view on the bottom yep. and a 3D view on the top. Oh. Um, so street view. When the game starts, you're in the street view. At the top, you see a 3D representation of the st city street. At the bottom, you see a map of the city. And a green dot shows where you are on the map. Oh, you went inside somewhere. Um, flashing dots may also appear to represent places you need to go such as the university, your job, criminal hideouts, with the sense power, criminals, and clues. So there's one flashing now. You may want to go to it. But what's who's in front of me there? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, it's a criminal. Do I fight the criminal? Uh, I don't know. It's just standing there. It's not attacking you. I would go to the flashing thing. You can press the button. I don't know what no, that does. Not doing anything. I guess they're just just people on the street right now. Uh, to move around, press a joystick up to go forward, left and right to turn. Some of the buildings have doors. You must be facing the door in order to see it. Each door has a symbol on it as H for home, U for university. So what did the door have on it for this H, one? H, I think. H? I think it was an H. 7 a.m. I don't know what I'm doing here. Can well. you interact with people? Stepping on her head. <laughs> the priority order might be wrong here. <laughs> um, so what did it say on it? Huh. U for university. Oh, okay. Uh, J for job, S for store, and question mark for criminal hideout. Hmm. If you move into a door, you will enter a building and be taken in, into the inside view, or if it's a hideout, to the combat screen. There are also phone booths in which you change in and out of your costume. Who is this person? So you're person? a normal person right now. Who is... Oh, right. I need a phone booth to change into my costume to right. fight? Right, yes. Uh, to do this, press the button and move the joystick down. 
So you have to find a phone booth first. Oh, that looks like a phone booth. Let's press the button and press the joystick down. There you go. You are Wonder Woman now. Now you can go find that criminal again. Uh, your main goal on the street view is to track down criminals and clues. So you have a snare. I believe that's a long range weapon, so you don't need to be right up against him. Uh, I think you defeated him. Appears as though I did. Yeah, I think your snare is long range, so, ah! so you don't need to go How right into it. How did I do it. that? Well, you're inside a building. How did I get inside a building? I think you have to find your way out. What happened? Are you turning? No, I'm nothing. Not doing anything. Uh oh. You broke it. I it broke it. And Lord no of the Dance Battle System. And there's no reset. Oh, there's no reset. Okay, I have to go back to it. It is a work in progress. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Very cool. I'm gonna have to start over, aren't I? Yep. It's okay. I'm gonna pick something else. But you got changed. It's good. You went inside a building, fought a bad guy. Uh, to find either press the button to pick it up or begin a battle. If you begin a battle with a criminal, you'd be taken to combat screen. Picking up clues adds to your total number of clues. When you get 10, a new hideout will be revealed on the map. Once you clear out the hideout, your clues go back to zero and you begin again. The inside view. When in the inside view, you may perform various actions by holding down the button and pressing up on the joystick to scroll through your options. You can do things. You have to hold the button and press up. Different areas offer different options. So you want to become a superhero yet? Superhero! Of course, criminals now go after you, right? Well, you want to kill the criminals, don't you? Yep. So there's a blue dot down there. There's a criminal. So you don't have to go right up to him. What? No. See? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So you have very long range. So you may want to give some space between you and the guy. What are you doing? <laughs> Kill him. Uh, the options are mask to change back and forth between your secret identity and superhero persona. Zed to sleep, which will heal you fully, but takes seven hours. A shirt. Are these bad guys? Okay, so you, were, you, were you listening? Nope. Okay, press a button and press up to hold the button. And press up to do different things. So smileys, a question mark. None what else? Not. Okay, two things. And then you let go? Yeah. Did you do the question? No, nothing. Okay. I'm not sure. No. Hm. I don't know what that means. Smiley face to socialize with nearby people. Uh, a check. Thank you so much, Ricardo Pam. Nine months subscriptions. Woo! The navigation system's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is with the 3D and the overhead. What if it's one of those half phone booths that only has the top part? Well, you're gonna be nude for a bit. What's that? Oh, is that a clue? Yes. Yep. It's a clue. You got one out of ten clues. Uh-oh. Then you find the secret hideout. Uh, a check mark to check into school or your job at the appropriate time of day. So you have to oh, go to school. Oh, I see. I don't see a clock. Oh, there was a clock when you were inside. Was there? Yeah, the university. Oh, it, oh. So if you want to go back to the university, no, we can check kill, in. I want to kill this guy. You're going to die. Oh, you moved oh. up and moved away from him. I do wish you could go backwards. Yeah. Ah, no! Is currently killing you. Ah. You're so close to him. I have to be. Oh, because he moves? Yeah. Oh, stop it. No, I can't shoot him from... Look, hey, I'm not Ricardo snaring. Pam. I'm not snaring. Yeah, you just hit him. There, there you go. go. They're not that hard. Ugh. So go back to the university and we can see what... Um, oh, we're going to fight again. Oh, he's not there. Hmm. You can shoot diagonally, Vitoko says. I guess, uh, do you control... Uh oh How am I inside? Did just, I go in? Yeah, you just went in. I did not go in. I oh. was going in one direction. Hmm. Hold the button down and, and press directions. 
Well, don't do that too much. Oh. M P M. Oh. Key. One key. One S I S H. Uh, S H. Uh, losing battles causes your S H experience to go down. Superhero experience. Mm. S I. How am I stuck inside? Is no secret place. identity. Okay. So I guess you get found out. I seem to be stuck inside. Yeah, I think you are. I'll have to reset. If you can't get out. No, now I have to start all over again. Don't reset yet. Sorry. <laughs> you couldn't get out, right? I was going to see if I could, but... I can shoot diagonally. Hmm. I can't. In both the street and inside views, you'll have a statistic readout on the bottom of the screen. You may scroll through the various stats by pressing the button and moving the joystick to the right. The stats uh, are health, hearts for health, AM or PM, with a number representing the time of day, SI, so let's try this out. Hold down the button and move to the right. So it's 5 AM, very early in the morning. Uh, zero... Oh. Clues. Zero clues, yes. Uh, SI for secret identity level. SH for superhero level. And a magnifying glass for the number of clues found. It's a magnifying glass. Okay. If your heart should reach zero, you're on the brink of unconsciousness and can only take a few more hits. Your hearts will eventually heal up, but sleeping will heal up your hearts to full. The time of day tells you when you must be at certain locations in order to fulfill your secret identity obligations. Uh -huh. So you have to go to the university at a certain time of day. So let's go into the university. But what time is it? So, oh, check in. Oh, oh, you checked in already. Okay. So try the smiley faces and questions. Yeah. Just hi, kitties. Hmm. Uh. At 6 a.m., you must go to class at the university. So you, you checked in at the right time, I'm guessing, because it was 5 a.m. What so. time is it now? 1 p.m. Oh, my God. Is it an hour every movement? Oh, you can keep it on the time. Okay. Well, maybe going to... Like, you have to actually go to class, I guess. You can't just go, I'm here, bye. Uh, and at 2 p.m. you must go to your job. Oh, it's 2 p.m. Got to find Where's your job. job. That is a good question. I think the university stays in the same place. Now you have to face the door to see what it is. So you'd have to f look at all the walls how and the face. How did I go in? I, I don't get this. How, how did I walk into that space? It might be a bug still. And now I'm... I can't go anywhere can't turn there's definitely an issue <laughs> this is the third building i've gotten trapped in <laughs> like i didn't see a door i didn't see a door did you see a door no did anyone see a door <laughs> you were just going door. down a hallway did i was you... going down a hallway you and then i turn. i no, no i don't think so i was looking around but i jumped into it i didn't move I into it want me to reset one more time i guess yeah yeah, definitely there's something funny going on there with getting um, more careful. I saw him. No, you didn't. I he didn't. was about to go under you. I saw him. He I was, was watching. He was kitty. Squish the no cat. No sense of self-preservation, cat. <laughs> no. Oh. Just like the people in the... What were we referring to? Oh, in the video game Time Salvo. All the people in Time Salvo have no sense of Oh, yeah. No sense of self-preservation. I see him. Hi, kitty. Okay. One more time. Staying awake for too many hours in a row will cause your hearts to sink to zero. Snare. Oh, my kitty. Let's just, let's do another one. Let's okay. Let's say fly. blast and flight. Fly. So you can fly, so you won't get stuck. Right? In theory. In theory. <laughs> yes. Very smart. So what was your, what's your powers this time? Flight and? Uh, blast. Blast. Okay. But so. I can't kill bad guys 
Now when you're, your, you're not your superhero, you'll be giving away your secret identity. Ooh, clues. Oh. But you have flight. Uh, not apparently. Still? No, that's changing into your superhero. So just move normally. I can't move normally. I'm oh, stuck. Okay. Flight's not helping then. Well, no, I think you need to be a superhero for flight. Oh, right. So. It's like flashing. It's like, no, you're trying to change. <laughs> Look, your underwear's pink. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get change into your superhero as soon as possible. I know where to do and that. Then, That's fine. Um, and then we but can it, it just morphed try me. for flight. It just morphed me in. Like it's, yeah, there's yeah, definitely there's, there's a bug. <laughs> yeah. So I will just quickly go through this one more time. I really like the screens and the movement. This thing that keeps keeps ca causing us to restart is... Um... You definitely need to add the button in to start the game. So you don't have to get up. <laughs> and move back and forth. Oh, not just flight. one direction. Flight, 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 flight. Hey, 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 hey. Nope. None of that. None of that. None of that. As you gain superhero levels, new types of enemies will appear. If you enter a hideout with a level 10 in both Secret Identity and Superheroes, you will face the final supervillain boss. So that's the goal. It's to increase your Secret Identity and your superhero level to 10. And then you... So how do you get flight to work? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh I you're see. Over... Oh my god, that's awesome. It's like the, the view of the buildings. You know what I think might be going on? It thinks you have flight... But then it acts like you don't at some yeah. points and acts like it, you do. Oh, yeah. Hi, just a superhero checking in. Not coming to school at all. No, you can't check in as a... Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Right? So your secret identity is not going to go up. But that's okay. We're testing out other things. I would definitely keep flight on and stay as your superhero. Stay as my superhero? But then I can't do the things I need to do. If you change back to normal, you'll get stuck in a building and we'd have to reset it. So True. I would just fight bad guys and look for clues. I can't be flying. Read the full manual. Oh, well, that's not the problem. <laughs> we're getting stuck in buildings when we're not supposed to. What is going on? Is, it, is this... Hmm? What's the issue? Nothing. No, it's, it's okay now. <laughs> I think when you're flying over buildings, that's when it goes to the building view. Or, or are you just sticking to the streets right now? What's What power did you get? Blast, apparently. Hmm. I don't quite get the blast. How do I activate blast? Oh, you did. A no. little dot in front of you. Mm, I think I that's just your, your short range fight, isn't it? Uh, blast used on the combat screen when at long range to make a ranged attack. Long this range, is, yeah. This is done by pressing the joystick button. Blast okay, so it was long range. I was doing a short range attack there. Well, you, you move away. Yeah, but it uh, wasn't doing it from far away. Blast could represent any multitude of projectile attacks used by various superheroes. Flame blast, lasers, firearms, lightning bolts. So to see the effect, you'd have to be a little bit further away. I, I was on at an angle. Maybe I had to be right at the back. Of the Maybe. Room. I'll try yeah. that next time. So without sense... You have to just wander around and bump into things, but with sense you're able to see anything on the when you're near it. Yeah, a little bit of screen jitter there. Oh, I see. That's blast. But you can't. Oh. Got him.
so that's short range. Mm, so it switches so it to short range. So it does switch to short range when you're a little bit closer. Which is good. Ah! Yeah, it's kind of easier to get them in short range. <laughs> so what's your superhero status now? Uh, it's up, right? No, no, that's wrong. There we go, 11 a.m. Nothing. Still one. So obviously it was not doing that well. Actually, I want to go down. So are you able to fly over buildings? Do you have flight right now? Or did you what did you pick? Uh yeah, you flight you push up and then you can fly around. Oh, you have to activate it? Does it does it time out? Or? Nope. And then oh, you okay. push down. Oh, uh, okay. Or how many bad guys you have to attack before your superhero level goes up? battles causes your superhero to go down. How yeah, do I lost a battle. Is that why? It? No. Definitely didn't. No? No. You defeated him every time. I defeated him, so... Nope. I'm guessing it's from either hmm. finding hideouts um, or just multiple battles. <laughs> is this the Atari 2600? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's too advanced. These are expert homebrew developers who push the limits of what a 2600 can do. Um, so, um, have you been through a full day? I wonder. Oh, there's a bad guy down there. Where? The bottom. Or are you looking for your uh, house and stuff? I don't know. I, are there doors? I mean, I assume that's what we're supposed to be looking for. Yeah. You have to be facing a door to see it. Oh, hmm. Hmm. nothing. Weird. False alarm. Oh, J for job. Oh. Too late. I'm, I'm <laughs> well, we know late. where it is now. Oh, that's where those two guys no, are. No, the two guys were at the university before, too. Were they? I thought it was one person at the university. Smiley. So I think the buildings stay constant. Mm hmm. So that's good. So when. Uh, so that's where my job is. Right. So I just have to find your home now. No, so, my home so is at the sleep. beginning. Oh, where's that? It? Right at the beginning. Oh, is that a secret room? Again, I feel stuck. Switch to fly mode. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, my home is. Oh, when you're flying, you can't look on the street, right? No, is that I think the so. thing? Right. So there's oh, my home. Oh, okay. But it's early still. Yeah. So, what direction are you looking when it's your home? Up or left? Oh, uh, up. Okay. So, we found the home. University, job, but not the store yet. Not the what? Store yet. Store? Yeah. So did you guys grow up with this device, or are you just revisiting history? <laughs> a, a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did grow up with this. Um, I didn't have one, but my friends did. Uh, my friends had Intellivisions, Coleco's, Atari 2600, NES's, but I never had one. Uh, we both had computers. You had an NES, though. I had an NES. Yeah. I had a Commodore 64. Yeah, so I had a Commodore 64 as well. Um, but these are brand new games for the Atari 2600. <laughs> this one's actually unreleased. So yes. This yes, is yes. an exclusive that we're playing on here, <laughs> and then you'll be able to play it later when it gets released. Um, so this was put out... Uh, today, this was sent to me today, this game. 
Um, so we exclusively play homebrews on the show. Just brand new games. Yes, we do. Or old homebrews. But anything made anything made after the run of the 2600, which um, the production run of 2600 stopped in 1992. It is, this is a very, very good adventure game. I mean, he has one bug that stops we us. See, we seem to keep running into. Or unfortunately, we're stops something. us from playing it properly. Yeah. Because. Or we're missing something. Which uh, we don't get past. I don't think so. No. We get stuck in a building and we can't get out because we don't have flying powers because we're a normal human. Uh, see, I just turned into a building too. But I can't move. No. Like, I can't turn. Nothing's changing. And I think but, you jumped into that before. Yeah. But you can fly. I can fly. <laughs> through the through the roof of the building. Through the roof. Smash. Of course, superheroes... Why not? They, const- could, they can smash through roofs. There's nothing wrong with that. Co- superheroes constantly cause damage to cities. I know. I don't know. How, the o- the oh. There are a couple of movies. See if anybody can remember any more. I mean, I think they addressed it in Avengers, oh, didn't they? I don't know. I, I haven't seen they very many of the Avengers movies. They addressed it in the superhero movie that Will Smith was in. What was that? I am legend? No, that's no, no, no. Else. I don't know. Where he was a superhero and he was thrown in jail because he was he was a drunk. Oh, and just causing havoc. I have, I don't know if I've seen that film, but I know what you mean. And he willingly went to jail because he could get out of jail anytime he wants. Yeah. But he just went, okay, I'll be in jail. Uh, what's it called? Hancock, yes. Yeah. I loved the concept of that film. Yeah. The first half of that film was awesome and brilliant. The second half was just a... A throwaway? Smaltzy love story like every other movie. Um, but just the concept of a superhero that the city hates. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he's a total, total fuck up. Yeah. And he just causes more trouble than he's worth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he tries to do the right thing, but he just keeps messing up because he's, he's just can't do it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and so they, they were on him about uh, messing the city up. Uh, what is the other one I was just thinking of? Well, I mean, um. Uh, The other one that was adapted from a graphic novel. So. And the city starts to turn on them. Oh, the Watchmen? The Watchmen. Yeah. I mean, and, they, and people are like, oh, you, you're, not, you're trouble, you know. Um, but there was another one as well where they're particularly like, oh, it's not, we're not a superhero, Ghostbusters. Where they got they got in trouble for wreck, wrecking the city. Yeah, well, they, I I like I I mean Ghostbuster. I like how they addressed the fact that yeah they're they're kind of our consequences to you know. Oh, you're fighting a higher level now. Yeah, I am. Two of them. The name of the raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy is Rocket. Yes, thank Rocket you, the raccoon. Yeah. I like the short-lived series Powerless. Oh. There there are Powerless. quite a few series. You know, I, I never watched, I never saw Heroes, which everyone just Neither loved. Neither did I. Um, I heard the first season was amazing, that it went downhill fast, but, um, but yeah, the kind of hero, uh, um, superheroes, Fla- anti-hero. Yeah, flawed heroes, yeah. superheroes that... Um, We're all, are always intriguing, I mean... Or, or superhero TV shows or movies where they have kind of weird powers. Yeah. Misfits. Oh, I love Misfits. So, the, the UK the version. The UK version, yeah. Uh, is brilliant. Yeah. They're, they're given powers that are kind of weird and somewhat kind terrible. Kind of useless, and they're kind of terrible people, too. <laughs> yes. Because they're just like these these delinquent teenagers. I just yeah. thought that was fantastic yeah. as well. Yeah. And I then like they Misfits figure out, a lot. And then they figure out ways that they can use their superpowers. And and to their own advantage a lot of the time, yeah, too. Yeah, like selfishly. It's selfishly, but... Yeah. but um, I know I, I quite like that show. It was pretty good. So what is your superhero index now? Uh, it's five a.m. Oh, two clues. <laughs> your secret Zero, identity went down. Because I haven't down. been, and it's one. Uh, my yeah. secret identity I haven't used but at your all. Your superhero is still one. Maybe I need to sleep. No. 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 no you have to select it. 
select what? We'll go through the options. There you go. Sleepy time. Ah, so now I'm normal again. Uh-oh. You're going to get stuck in a building. Where is the nearest? Oh, there you go. Oh, they're mad at you. Have to check in. <laughs> 10 a.m. So I went to school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's impressive. Many of the modern homebrews are way better than the original games from the 90s. Oh, yeah. Uh, th they have the advantage of modern sensibilities and Ooh. being able to... Oh, I would get to a phone booth before. Oh, clue. Oh, another clue. Thanks. Before you get stuck in a building. Oh. Down, right? Ooh, didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was already shaken. Maybe it went super shake. We'll wait till it comes, if it comes back. Nice. Heroes was good show. Never watched the revival. Yeah, I never got into those. And with that... Powerless star Danny Pudi. Really? And Alan Tudyk from Firefly. Oh, wow. Oh, now I, I am going to have to watch that. I like both of those actors, so... Um... So that is the end of Local Hero 2. It gave up on us. Um, so that's our sign to move on. Yeah. <laughs> but excellent, yeah. excellent start. Uh, um, he should be able to fi fix those um, small bugs. Yep. Um, to, I think all he really needs to do, like the two big ones, the shaking of the screen. It, there are some spots there, yeah. And when he, and when the superhero goes into a building. And, and I can't seem to get out again. stuck yeah. on the There's roof. There's something a little funny. Yeah. So I'm going to get you. Chronicle, yeah. Actually, we're going to take a look at Night Guy in Low Res World next. And I don't know if I ever showed the t-shirts. Not uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days. Because he has t-shirts associated with this game. And he says, I have some merchandising available in my tea public store in case you're interested in supporting the development. And oh, let's put that over there. So he's got a very cool t-shirt. Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days. And this is the same place that I use. So you can put it on, you know, a hoodie or a sticker. It's funny because if, if nobody's clicked on it a while, it mm -hmm. has to render it. It renders these in real oh, time. <laughs> because if you go back to something. Because it's just an image, right? They, yeah. just, they just superimpose. Or oh, stickers, stickers are nice. Yeah, because they kind of go out with the outline. I really like that. There's something very comic booky about the the look of that too. Yeah, the thick outline. Yeah, of it. I I like that. That, look, yeah. that looks really good. Uh, phone, Ooh, cases, phone cases, mugs, which we have mugs for ourselves. Yes. Of course, the mask they introduced. Yep, yep, yep. Um. So, yep, those are very cool. Mm. Um. Six five zero oh, two. It's right in my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Slip of the finger. Uh, so that this is the game we're going to be playing right now. And it looks like it's my turn to play. Yes? I guess. If okay. you must. <laughs> um, this is part of the... We're playing this because he's done an update. And yeah. also it's part of the 2021 Harmony Games Tournament. Mm. Um, which won for best work in progress in the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards, which mm. we host. So the rules for this, there's no scoring on this game until the uh, the last screen before you lose your... So the last screen before you lose your lives is counted for rank in this game because the screens are numbered. Mm. It's like you're in screen number one, two, three. So the higher screen you make it to on your first life okay. is your score for oh, the tournament for the tournament because yet sometimes has to come oh, up with geez. clever ways yeah. to score because some of these games don't have a score it's about pushing forward yeah yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this game is about you know getting to the end of the oh, game okay yeah mm -hmm. uh oh thank you esther Mears, for posting the link to it so the harmony games started yesterday and it'll okay. go till april oh, okay. 5th cool so he says okay so you can read from there, and I will start it up. Oh, the, I'm reading uh, VHZC's first post? Yeah. 
So, his first post, October 6, 2018, two days after joining Atari Age. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm new here and I want to share a game <laughs> that I am developing. Can you imagine that, VHZC being new? Yeah. It has 28 <laughs> screens and is a 16K game. It's practically finished. I only have some room for corrections. Debug. Don't have a Harmony cart, so I would really appreciate if somebody could test this version on real hardware. Will do. No, <laughs> many people have now. Yes. So here's a beautiful title screen. Nice. So you're a little night guy, and you can hop on the tree. Ooh, can I get up here? Oh, I can get up here. Can I get over there? Oh no. You can go under the tree. Get your head on the tree. That's really cool. You can go on the tree. <laughs> I don't think you can get on the tree in the 7800 version. No. It doesn't let you go over that far. Um, oh, can nice. I get on the castle? Ah, 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 no. Cute little guys. <laughs> I like the flamers. And they look at you oh, when you turn when you uh, go past them. So you can see the uh, oh, screen number. Oh, so it's not a ladder. Was no, it a ladder before? It, it was. Yeah, that's was definitely. It on this one? Yes, it was. I think yeah. so. It, it was, was quite hard to get to for was. a first level. Maybe that's why he's made it a little easier. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's it's good to do that for like the first screen. It's a little bit quieter of a game. Turn it up a little bit for you There's guys. There's the snake. Now, you can't defeat the snake, snake yet. Snake of Doom. Because you need the uh, stabby sword. Stabby stabbies. Ooh, I love the fireballs. Those are beautiful fireballs. Mm -hmm. So, I, I cannot die. Not even once. Or else... So, it's how many screens you get through? It's the screen number yeah. you lose your first life on. Okay. Or the highest screen number in your game, okay. I guess. Are we just going for that, then? Uh, well, I'm going to finish the game. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, I'm going to try. So you're not going to just keep trying and resetting on your first look? Uh, uh, well... Are you going for score, or are you going for... You're going to get to the end? Oh, I'm... Kind I, of going for Kind score. of both. Okay. I'm going to see how far I can get on one life. Okay. I do want to finish the game, though. Um, and I have. So, do you want me to talk about the updates? Yeah, since do we it last back, play? Backwards order, please. Backwards, so from March 31st, 2020... Because that's uh, kind of when we last played Okay, it. the third boss was added. A new item was added, a bubble. Uh, and VHZC things says, Also, I think I catch, I caught all those pesky overcycles. Uh, January 17th, 2021. So, very recently. Uh, no more content, but changes in the engine. Smooth jump and other little changes under the hood. Redesigned first screen, new title screen. Yes. January 21st, 2021. More screens, new mid boss, cosmetic changes. Left dif difficulty A turns music off. So, I. Uh, oh, and we have that off. <laughs> Should we turn back on? Yeah, put the music on. It's green sleeves. Nice. Leave that on for a bit. Oh, for a bit. March 7th, 2021. New screen, redesigned mid boss, cosmetic changes, corrects bug in water portal screen. And that is where we're at. So, this is, yeah, a couple days this. old. Seven. Two days old. Did you die? No. Seven, no, eight. It's because I had to go back and get the key. Oh. Or the. Oh, Distract me. Yeah. So, you I had to get could the... die on an earlier screen then? Uh, yeah. Mm. You could die at any point. So it's when not I... quite long longevity, then. It's about... N no, the it's not. You're at when it's you not die. about time. And that's increased my life. Excellent. Oh, it but... says life at the top. I didn't even notice that before. <laughs> life! Can I get up there? Almost. It's not enough room. <laughs> On purpose. Okay. Yeah, the first time you die, it's that's done. it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stress myself out, out about that, because I find it no. a hard enough game that I'm not gonna worry too much about my score. The moment I worry about it, I die instantaneously. Right. So. Um, so you don't even have to get more uh, life. It doesn't matter for this mm -hmm. competition. It's all about the first time you die. So th that's why I had to go back mm -hmm. past the snake to get the key for this door. So there's a bit of backtracking in this game. Yep. He's played it before, can you tell? <laughs> and then you do this, oh, and back then you a year do that. Ago. 
Oh, you remember this game. <laughs> you remember these screens. We played it quite a bit. That looks different. Yeah, he's done some upgrades. There's some boss or bad guy upgrades, we'll say. That is cool. Yeah, that 3D. Looks that, that is so cool. Rotating. He's had that kind of character in Ooh. some of his other games. Uh, I think I'd go... No. No, you have to shut it off, I think, yeah. It has a bit of backtracking here. I'm going to play it really safe and do it when they yeah, go down. slowly, yeah. And then up. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, gives me a heart attack. I have to go through these a bunch of times, too. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I hate those guys. I think we played it more in the 7800. Oh, much have. more. There, now it's now off. Now I turn off the switch. And then you backtrack. <laughs> Andrew Davey. I must remember to use that quote Gah! whenever I'm behaving badly. Did you die? 19. Yes. Oh, no. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about my score as if it were a choice. It's true, <laughs> though. It's true. The moment you stop I'm caring... Excited. Oh... The moment you stop caring, that's when you start doing well. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, that is the rule. The moment I'm stressed or I think someone's watching me, forget it. People are always watching I'm, me. On this show, they are. <laughs> so you're always stressed? But I can ignore the chat, so that makes things a little easier. <laughs> I was always terrible at sports because I always felt like people were watching me. Oh, no. Even though they didn't care, it they just always care. made me nervous. So They don't care. Team J. Oh, thank you. That is not a good score. Oh, it's not a bad score. I should I not have died on that. I will be two T. <laughs> <laughs> two. Dying on the first screen with no enemies. Probably. Oh, I love... Oh, everything is so pretty. Kind of purpley blue. I know! It like There's a gradation to the... Whatever you do. I tried to immediately go and stab him. You can't. No. Is the timing? He's made the timing so you can't immediately stab him. You have to hit the ground and then stab him. You have to wait. Be oh, after you, you he kind shoots. of hit down. Yes, yeah. Uh, oh. uh, no, do you I have need to life? backtrack now. You I've might as well get it later. I have to go get, go get the key now that I have the sword. Vulnerable against your stabbings. They're stabby proof. That's what I need to get from the chest. <laughs> Danny BC, it's better than what I did. Die around the third or fourth screen. Third or fourth? Uh. <laughs> oh, Dan. <laughs> See you Friday, Esther Ramirez. See you Friday. Have a good night. cautious. Well, I think that's a good approach. It is. When you can't die even once. Oh, yeah. Should have just jumped over that at some point. Well, no, it did <laughs> increase your life. I know, but I can't. It doesn't matter, because I'm not supposed to die at all. That's true. <laughs> not much time in a lot of these little puzzles. Great. I, I just love, we just love VHZ games. Oh, yeah. Because... The style of them and the characters, and, or the sprites, I guess, yeah. Um, yeah. are always very interesting. And every screen is yeah. different. It's no, it's no repetitiveness to it at all. So much variety. Yeah. This, too, like... Yeah, look at the ornateness of the swords. The, the movement swords. Of, of the obstacles... That was close. <laughs> oh, that was close because I didn't duck. Off. <laughs> <sighs> and then you go back. Do them all over. 
over again. Kind of want to jump into the last one so that you're really close by the time you get to it. Yeah. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> it's so slow. Normally I'd be going on the up movement, movement but uh, I'm just being really cautious. I, yeah, I, I, I think that makes sense. Because it's easier to duck. Oh, the lasers are off! Oh, you can get your head right into them. Look at that. <laughs> Another guy. Yep. Another guy. They come back. Those lion's heads. Yay! Do. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> oh, ah. 22! Mid-boss, keep Terrible. playing. Terrible. Get out of the way. This guy's so easy, too. Can you hit him? Yeah. So easy. I'm gonna be right back. So should I... Oh, what just happened? What did you just hit? Nothing. Something just flickered everything in here. What flickered? I don't know. When you walked out of the room, something just flickered everything in the room. I had the static. Oh, where did you shock it to? But I touched the, the Is that what shocked you? Yeah. Okay, weird. Every I'm going to continue on to go to the end. Did somebody type in which, uh, which level I died on? It was 19. Terrible. Oh, that was terrible. So, I mean, I need, I guess I need practice anyway. on the later levels to be able to get to uh, not die. This boss is cool. Just his animation, his little mouth. He goes, ooh, 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 when you hit him. Can't remember what's over here. What is over here? Bet I have to do this first. It's probably just life. Oh, no, it's the bubble. I don't think there's anything past this. Oh my god, there is. That was a shock. Is there something past this? I don't remember doing this in my last run through, going this way. What is this? Oh my god, no, I think I have to go to the right first. Guys, I don't new. think we played the 2600 with the water level. No, I don't think it maybe not been in there before. Ah! Oh! Damn it. It's rough. Kitties, watch that cat. Oh, oh no. no! You have to go really fast. Well, I just have to not be there. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh no! My last life. That's Cats rough. Distract me. It's not the cat. Blame not the kitty. It's easy to blame it on the kitty. Well, it's one pixel. Oh, yeah. Leap of Ooh. faith. Oh, look at those faces. Those are misfit skulls. I know, I was gonna say. Nice. Come on. Oh, I bet there's life this way. Or not. Oh boy. I only have one sliver left. 
Should I go? Yeah. You want to see what's there, don't you? Yeah. <gasps> 44. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Okay. First score in level 51. Ooh. That's the end of the game, isn't it? 51? Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. Well then, I can't be first. <laughs> I think 51 is the number of levels, right? Yep, Dan says. Yeah. Of course there's going to be somebody who got it. Well, maybe I can get some. Yay, too! <laughs> <laughs> but not the, not the way I'm going. But I don't need to go to those extra special spots if, um, I'm, not, if I'm playing just for the high score, right? <laughs> oh my god. I'm panicking now. <laughs> Panicking. Panic cat. That is great. Hi. Some cuddles. Just want to be on the camera down there. Let's chill out. Hi. Let's go up the floor a little bit. Come on. Cuddles? No? No cuddles? Changes color all the time. My life bar. Yeah, I was noticing that. I'm not sure. I think it's taking the color of the screen. Oh, maybe. No, it's just blue now for no good reason at all. It's gray in the last screen. Oh, yeah. did he shoot me? He did. Oh, he's, 10. He's, <laughs> standing right next to him. I thought I was hitting him. Apparently, not. I was not. We were just hanging around near him. So, 10. 10 is your score. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Yep. On this round, anyway. Yep. We'll see. Up here. Little cat. Like I said, it was hard to figure out scoring for this game. Yeah. It, uh, I, I, I don't know any other way other than you have to time it out. It's a pretty smart way of doing it. Oh. It is. Terrible. Because there's no score. There's no time. Because some of his games have a timer on it, but not not this. So the only thing that's left is you have to go back. Can't get the life first. Oh yeah, you can. Sorry. There we go. I was pretty low. So. <laughs> um. So it's a very smart way of doing it. It's nice revisiting this game after so long. Yeah, I don't. I just change his color just randomly. Mine is. Yours wasn't. Really? Yeah. It's bizarre. Huh. I don't think yours was. I, at least I start. See, now it's it's cycling through colors. It's weird. Purple. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's very pretty. It, you'd think they'd have something to do with the colors of the enemies on the screen or something, but like it has nothing to do with anything on the screen. I mean, you're the same. You were the same color for a second there, as, as it. I didn't think purple. yours was changing color. And this one's cycling. Mm -hmm, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. It was red though the other way around. Not intentional. Oh, VHS Caesar. Hey, not intentional. It's cool. Why? Not, why not keep it? I don't Adds think yours is doing it though. That's kind of weird. Thing. It is discoy. I like it. <laughs> some screens it cycles. Some screens it's static. Do you have a, an idea why it's doing that, VHS Caesar? Like, no, it's yellow. Like now where it's... it's getting this color from? Because it doesn't seem to be anything on the screen. Maybe it's like one color up from something on the screen. Because each, like different things are different colors on the screen. See, it just cycled when the door went away. Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> I go off the sound on this one. It's always it's tight. so close, it's so yeah. Tight. 
This is beautiful. I love this. That's the reason I didn't pick up a holy for the graphics round because I didn't have a score. Ah, I really thought yeah. I had that cleared. And unholy doesn't really have a great indicator of how your progress other than keys. Yeah, but true. That's, even that's kind of hard to to say like what, what key you're on. Poked in the bum like <laughs> Close. Very close. The head or the bum. Depends which one. Not a good way to die either mm -hmm. way. Medieval torturing Oof. techniques. Hooray! I love the little flash of red right before, like, right when they shoot. And then they turn green right before they die. So many just subtle little colors mm -hmm. that are happening. Whoa, so close. Pixel away from death. That was better. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. That's yeah. what I did with that other guy. Go right into him. When yeah, you have to make sure you, you drive in. There's no reason not to. Yeah, drive straight in. Dab right in. I just thought I had gone far enough. I have plans to add score in the form of a countdown timer once you beat the last boss. Okay. Do you just run into him? You can, but if you jump, you get a bunch of hits on him. Oh! Double back! I didn't mean yeah. to double back. So we'll have to exit the castle before the time is up. Oh, the remaining time will count as score. Okay. So it's your race to exit the castle mm. after beating the final boss. And we needed some of that. Oh, it fills you quite a bit. Yeah, it's pretty decent. So before the boss, it's all I've about been to these life. Levels. Some levels look frantic and hard, but they're not. You get a lot of time here. I like it. It sounds like a spring hitting a, Bling, a wall. Like zzz, zzz, zzz. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Double timing on this one. Oh, good. Ah, this is another boss! And you hit him when he's still. Now hit him now. Way. Thank you now. Ah! <laughs> there you go, now you got it. Oh, my timing's off. I love this boss, is so cute. He's so cute. Little tiny teeth, and he reacts when you hit him. So. Oh, good. I'm sucking it. Yeah. Don't know if he's accumulative. Like, oh, yeah, he, he is. is good. <laughs> he definitely. Don't have is. to start over like some games where it's like, nope, back to the beginning. You have to defeat him properly. <laughs> Planning on retooling Harmony Games for next year, not just because the games they didn't have scores, but this year is also multiple winners. This year there was multiple winners. Oh, I see. But it's to the right. I guess it's to the right that the um, the bonus thing is, not to the left. This is progressing in the game. Hmm? Just after you defeat that boss, there's paths left and right. Oh, I didn't go to the right. Should I have gone Neither to the right? Neither did I last time, but I'm going to maybe the next play. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, high-pitched noise. <laughs> it's mice. It's the mice. It's okay. You're fine. I mean, you yeah. don't have a lot of life, but... 
Oh, it was probably a life. Yeah, life or... Yeah, well, that's the only thing. It wasn't an essential thing. Color cycling. Oh, those are great. Just the timing is perfect. Of, it, well, the floatiness of them, the too. The floatiness is... is Have to go, go, go. There, you stop. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that one is hard. You can't stand still on that screen because it, it does loop around. Whoa! Close. Oh, close again! <laughs> <sighs> Stressful. <laughs> oh, yeah. You skipped a potion. Oh, okay, so That's it was a I potion. That's what I thought. That's what I figured. Oh. Misfit heads. Misfit heads. Yes. Yeah, these aren't too bad. So there's probably a poll question I'm going to do next show. Not the next show, because we're just concentrating on the interview next show, but something about um, spoilers in games. Because mm. we try to finish games on the show. Oh, sorry, sorry, Atari. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. He's so upset at your He's dad. He's like, oh. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, you're terrible at this game. Um... And we're not intentionally trying to spoil the game. We're just, we just want to play it to the end, right? It's like, we're not like, oh, we're going to show spoilers. Oh, it's coming. Ah. Um, but by playing the game, you, you're giving away spoilers. But how much, how much of a game is a spoiler? Like, what, at what point is it spoiling the oh, game? My time is so bad. Oh, I have no life left. One, last one, uh... I think. My games are kind of stressful. It is like my thing. <laughs> there, there's a lot of stress going on in these games. That's for sure. It's good though. And it's intensified by the music. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> and, and there's like, you have to do it. Like you're trapped in this room. You can't go forward until you defeat the, the dragon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's kind of know, a snaky dragon. Snaky monster mouth dragon. <laughs> got a kind of a funny head too scared to jump over it eh? i am yeah but it's actually kind of screwing me over because i should be just timing my jumps yeah i mean it's a lot faster there you go no see yeah. oh i keep doing that it's like i'm i'm skipping ahead my my mental uh <laughs> timing is off so. oh, i love that intro it coming in yeah so awesome Okay, you can do better. Do better. Just do it better. Just do it better. Just get good. Slide, slide, slide. But I practiced the game now enough, I think. I shouldn't die on anything that's too easy the bosses i don't find are the troubling things mm. it's the the timing on some of these mm -hmm. really tight timed things because the bosses are fairly patterned mm. yeah yeah once not, you get the hang of the pattern it's not so bad and they're not too tight of timing i find but it is all about finding the pattern. Yeah, it and is. that and, and the time. I mean once you've played the game you kind of know the pattern, but um, mm. discovering it is the fun part. So I have to go back first. To get the key. Thank you, VH said. Bit of backtracking. What do you say? He said nice nice uh, nice play. And yeah, I'm gradually getting far. better at your games <laughs> the more I play them. So. <laughs> Jared Gray West. Hey, Jerry Gray West. <laughs> and K. 
Cafe y Huegos. Thank you for the show. Oh, you're Going so to welcome. sleep. Good night. Well, it is very late in some regions of the world. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know where you are, but. And Jerry Green West just wanted to say, howdy all. I just realized that I've been watching for an hour and haven't said anything yet. <laughs> oh, well. Thank you for joining Thank us for the for last hour then. <laughs> yeah. As we try and get some, get some high scores here. Somebody has already got the highest score. Mm -hmm. So it's impossible to be first now. It can only be second, third, and fourth. But it's about playing the game. Oh, speaking of which, mm. getting f second and third and fourth, mm. uh, we played... One second. This one, is, this one is a bit timey. Yeah. Uh, Alia Quest. Alia's Quest. Alia's Quest? Is that Last what it is? show. Mm -hmm. And Tanya got 11th place. I know! <laughs> Which is not really good. Too shabby. Compared to like some not of those players. Shabby. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you did really good. And I got fifth I had a place. Nice run. I had a nice run that first that first time yeah. we were the day we were playing it. Yeah, yes. you did really well. Yeah, um, way better than I thought. I thought I wouldn't even I'd be maybe top ten. But there's some really good players. Oh, yeah. Luckily it was a shooter, which You I enjoy your shooters. Enjoy so... them. Some I'm not great at. That one I was okay at. I got mm. the pattern. Um, you can kill the bats. Oh, you can kill the oh, bats. Oh, well. Good to know. Good to know. I don't know if I want to try now that I know how to avoid them, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the bats are no more. Don't have to deal with them anymore. Yeah, it's kind of close. I didn't like that. Is there another bat? Yeah, Alley Quest was a pattern shooter mm. um, with some parts where you really had to know the patterns. Um, and there was a part where you get to where you have to be very, very precise with your... Sorry. Uh, killing the last guy mm. on the screen. And you kind of figured out... A kamikaze way to get get it on one and of those. It is levels. not easy, no. even when you know it. Yeah, you have to go all the way to the left and then shoot, move immediately yeah. at a specific spot. Yeah, and that will happen like four times to to get to the highest score. I love, I love the HLC. I love the noise. That noise is great. That spring noise is just bzz, perfect. Bzz, bzz. It's perfect. That was very close. Ooh, ooh, this this guy. This guy's cool. He is cool. This is Hector. I know you run this back. Is... I, I figured that out by the end. You, did. you run over to the other side and then you get as close to that back wall as possible. It's sort of the opposite to what you might mentally think it you is. should do. You're running away. Yeah. In and order then to letting, get him. Letting him come after you. Yeah. It's it's very strange. So go over. No, you want the, the oh, life portion. Yes. You don't go back that way. There you go. Yay! Get your Hooray. flies! Topped it up by like the tiniest little bit. <laughs> yeah. So I made it way past the last score now, which yeah. is good. Yeah. But now you're backtracking, which... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, my numbers are going down now. <laughs> that was close. I did die on that one other game. I just ran into this room. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Nope. It happens. not run into rooms. No. VHZC games. Nope. That ladder's so great. Yep. And this screen is. You go from room 24 to room 32. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not necessarily in the order you think they would be. Dangerous. Yep. Cute. Yeah, they're cute. really cute. <laughs> Wish there was more of them almost. Oh. Oh. Careful. Yep. 
Actually, yep. you want to be along the top. The bottom is harder, I think. Bottom's harder. When you yep. did the bottom, you died. Yep. I use player position as sound data to make those sound effects. Oh! Player position. On what part? Um, for the springs? The springs, I think that's what I was commenting. Yeah. That's really cool. Love the leaps of faith. Yep. Uh, it's gonna. It'll, it'll appear by the time I land. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming any second. <laughs> it'll be there. Just I know the pattern. You yeah. don't even have to get to the. No, it's one. the timing. It's the timing. I'm surprised I made it as far as I did before. Like, totally dying. <laughs> oh, this guy. He stresses me. Uh, it's not too bad for me. I was just not, my brain was not timing. You just have to watch it go off the screen and That's not be true. too anxious. Yeah, well, <laughs> easier said than <laughs> that. Yeah, was close. That, see, I, see you're that jumping was close soon. Too. You're jumping soon because he it comes out so fast. <gasps> Damn it! 46! 46! That was good. That was good. Is 51 enough. the end? Yeah. Just, just get to the end. I, I am. Get to the to. end. Yeah. I want to see the end. Oh my One god! Hit. Oh no! One hit? I'm not going that way. No, is that health? It's it's hell that way. That's what that is. What do you mean? That. That. Oh! I'm not going that way. I don't need health. <laughs> I need to finish the game. <laughs> I only got hit once. Not much time. Hmm. Boss time. You know when there's life just given to you? Mm -hmm. It's a bad sign. Hello? Oh, I do have to open these up. Mm. Damn it. Oh well. Going back through that room three times. <laughs> Too scared. <laughs> Got scared. Panic cat! Panic! Ah! <laughs> Hide down below! <laughs> <laughs> Run away! <laughs> how do I how did I do this? You jump and jump. You go through it fast. Just... <gasps> oh can you duck? In the middle? Mm, not low enough. enough. Can you jump to the second one? <laughs> you cannot. You can barely jump to the first one. Jump and duck. Oh, you can duck. Oh, no wonder. It's like... Oh, it's even hitting me, really. Yeah, you can't make it through without doing that. Without ducking. It's just not enough time. Thank you, VHC. <laughs> drop, technically, I think. Oh, true. <laughs> I did press the left a little bit to get, get past that. I feel like these are like nails. Yeah, they, little they nails, nails being nails. pounded. Pounding. Life, where's my life? That's not life. Ah, there it goes up. Thank you, big. No! <laughs> <laughs> that terrified me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it that was, at uh, all. It's not a gate. It's an <laughs> obstacle. Oh god. I don't think there is a boss. I think the, the next screen is just, it's just the, the end. end. And a beta. Uh, that got to hurt, lol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Poor night guy. Oh, squished. It's a good thing he's got a coat, a suit of armor. He's fine. He just got you know, stunned. Yeah, just stunned. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and a beta. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's not my score, but I, I'm gonna do it again. But one you got more to time. 46. Oh no, yeah. you should. You play it again. You're not gonna do it. Well, I. I you should try to make okay. it. It takes a while to get there. Please so up, please. Oh, I can go back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit 51, so I'll let you. 
Oh, I love the fire guys. They're cute. Love the fire guys. Atari, come here. Speaking of cute. No, he's gonna just. He's just me. sleeping just off camera. No, no. <laughs> no. Come here, come here. No, no, don't. Oh, he's me. running away. You know what gets him? Treats. He's like, it's dinner time. No, it's not dinner time. It's not dinner time. Okay. We're here for moral support, eh? Yeah. Are you here for moral support? He's <laughs> here for treats. Mwah. And moral support. It's good for moral support. Okay, we're gonna get this boss. Yeah? Kill the boss, he says. You get that there skeleton. We there we go. You're a, Let's you're get the time and happen in here. Oh, is he? Is he purring? No, he's <gasps> trying to get away. Oh, vicious. It's okay. He's done. He's done. He's like, no, I don't see any treats coming my way, so... It was hilarious that when I shook the treats, he you could hear him through the through the ceiling. <laughs> he ran so fast. Okay, there, I I believed you. <laughs> it's definitely an easier way to deal with them. It is, because it dies. The second one didn't come. No, it's like over. The bats yep. are gone. Scared the rest of them away. Because I swear I remember having the sword and running into something, and it's like, no. Well, the 7800 has had, like, physical obstacles that would get shot at you. Right. Like, round things, they weren't bats. If I'm oh, not mistaken, yeah. so those would you I don't think you could no, kill those. No. Can trust you again. <laughs> Empty defeated room. Empty life room. Oh, I can jump into that? Oh kind of a little bit. Some tight timing. Mm. I'm glad there's no room where it has to be perfect timing. Yeah. That's that's about as close as you're going to You gonna feel get. like your head is is scraping the top of that knife it's as it It's probably drops. one of the closest yeah. in this game. But also the room where you have three levels and you pass between them, I find that really terrifyingly tight. The knives coming down? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. In it's, doubles? It's just a lot of them. That's all. But I find I find this like, ooh, it feels tight. It's a lot not, more time. but it feels it feels tight. I don't know. It's a lot more time than that stabby yeah. thing. Stabby. Oof! I didn't move right away. I feel like they should all have names. All the bad, <laughs> the bad instruments. Oh, well, maybe in the torture. manual they'll all have. Oh yeah, have names. yeah, yeah, yeah. glad I have this controller now. Oh, oh it's my nice. god. Night and day playing games with the Atlanta controller. Still have to thank him. I mean, I paid him, but... Yeah. <laughs> Still have to thank him, but for, thank him for, for making, making a good these product. Like, yeah. Like, it's a very select few people that make these kind of aftermarket third-party things for 40-year-old systems, right? <gasps> Damn it! Time for bed. <laughs> Lost Spice another wear. one. <laughs> Good night, I don't know if he typed that just before I died, or <laughs> just as I died, or he had it queued up. Mm -hmm. As soon as I died, it's like, nope, done. <laughs> <laughs> night, Daryl. Have a good sleep. It wasn't that far. It was a coincidence. <laughs> Just timed up perfectly. Uh, and on that note. <laughs> good. Good night.
Dan, what is the second, the bonus game? Um, for the Harmony games? Because he's got a primary game and then a bonus game. I can't remember what it is. Stop. <laughs> Zevious? Ah, Zevious. Arena Foot, hello! I'm not super great at. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Arena Foot. Hope your day has gone well. Uh, okay. Missed the big announcement. I can tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I mean, I posted it. So. Yeah. Friday's the big show. Big show. After talking about it for literally months, mm -hmm. um, having it on the schedule as special event, and then then knowing the date for like two weeks, and then being able to finally reveal it today. World premiere, Circus Convoy, and the interview. Ah, Rena Foot says, Circus Convoy and Casey's Gold, I see. Not Casey's Gold. <laughs> That's not done till the summer. It's not out till the summer. But it was, it was announced. Vitoko's off to bed too. Good night. Oh, good night, Vitoko. Thanks for hanging out with us. I did get 46, which is yeah. fine. fine, but I know a bunch of people are going to get 51. Oh, probably. And it's about the order you get it in mm -hmm. when it's that kind of um, contest. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a top score, you know, like on... Um, oh, yeah. Who gets there first? Like, yeah. like Pac-Man, mm -hmm. right? You can get a very specific high score and you can't mm -hmm. get higher than that. So at that point, it's about who gets there first. Mm -hmm. Or other games you can roll the roll the score on. They still will have patches. Yes, the new uh, new games have patches. Ooh, that is cool. Um, which is awesome because you know David Crane was the guy who co-founded Activision, mm -hmm. who the, all the patches originally came out. That's on. so cool. Yeah, so it's like you're getting patches from the the authentic, real, original company again almost I think I'm just gonna start by ducking and then slide on over I love how he slides too VHZ says I love Xevious and Xevious but I am really bad at it like awfully bad <laughs> me too I need some practice so we're gonna be practicing on the game on the show so I don't know when we're gonna play that it won't be next show yeah it won't be the show after because that's a 7800 show so it's gonna be the show after that, and I, hopefully that's still that's there's still time, there's still plenty of time I think. Mm -hmm. All right. It's quick. Yeah. You just Yay! Jump up and get him. One of the best sounds, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. On the 26th, one of the most accurate sounds, if those are springs, which they are kind of bouncing against yeah, the wall, no, they, right? Yeah, they, I can picture, I can picture their physical movement if they were actualized. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. <gasps> oh my Whoa. god, wrong timing. Jump when they're uh, coming towards you, not after they come towards you. Oh no, Jesus. 29. Well, it's pointless. Oh. That was terrible. That was not the spot. I never die in that guy. <laughs> that was friggin' close. It was. I'm just gonna slide this whole time. Slide everywhere. Slide. Slide. slide everywhere i mean technically you can slide everywhere but um it makes it difficult 
sometimes. <laughs> Like, I seriously tried, like, before, like, a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, jump, and then turn around immediately and jump towards him. You can't kill him. No? no. Like, before he shoots. Uh, before he shoots. Gotcha. Right? He always... You have to let him shoot first, and then... have to. Unless I didn't quite get the timing right, but... Nah. I tried a lot. is mentioning his checklist book. Oh, yes. Is about 90 to 95% complete with the info I have. Now asking the community to fill in any blanks I have in the checklist book. Just um, just private message him on Facebook. What? What? You didn't go back. You have to go up the oh ladder. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've never gone backwards through that. Don't what? you? Wait. Yeah. I think I totally missed something. You, too, you did. I'm not even thinking. Yeah. Uh, you have to go the other way. Uh, Don't you? Uh, I, I feel like... I didn't go to the snake or something. What, what is... What? What is happening? I don't know. You can kill him. Did I not... What? What is happening? I'm missing the key. The key? You didn't go back for the key. The snake. Really? Oh, there. God. Oh, my goodness. Torturous. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I was too distracted by sliding. I'm gonna slide over here and slide, slide over, over there. there. <laughs> miss everything. Uh, Back to screen four. Some good practice on these screens. Sometimes you just get caught up with talking and what you're doing. That's right. Um, so I'm guessing the ones that you're missing. Yeah, your arena color foot. bar isn't changing. So something funny was happening with my color bar when I was. Oh playing. yeah, mine's yellow. Yeah, it's yellow the whole time. That's really weird. Why was yours? Well, well we found a bug. A little bug. Not a consistent bug though. No. Which is hard to nail down. Mm -hmm. Inconsistent bugs. Um, I'm guessing the ones that you don't have have the information for are for people that are not hang not around anymore in the mm. forums, so they can't directly answer the question. So it's going to be like relying on people that just know, know about the answers. <gasps> oh. Rage reset. Yep, I need a new t-shirt. So frustrating, because I got to like... Room 48, was it? Uh, no. 46? Uh, 48. 48? 46. Terrible. 46. 46, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. See how, how many people we can dwindle the chat down to. <laughs> <laughs> By watching this game over and over and over. 46, yeah. Okay. says in television checklist book is about 90% done. Vectrix checklist book is about 25% done. Started a, I don't know what Coco checklist is. Color and a computer. Okay. And uh, 5,200 and 7,800 checklist books too. Excellent. Two. As well. Yeah. Okay. And then missing some info from the early years, 96 to 2010 of 2,600 homebrews, release dates, original pricing, originally sold where, etc. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and is, I guess this is information that is not in the forums. Um, and I'm he, he's aware of the Stella mailing list, so mm. he's scoured that as well. It's going to be have to be people who like own the games or... Who remember. <laughs> old, sc old school people who just remember. Yeah. Oof. Go get that snake. I like how he drops from the sky and he changes direction too. It's those little little touches. Little, little things. Yeah. Little things. He doesn't just it's not just there, he drops from the sky. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Info 
not found online. Right. Yeah. So it just doesn't exist anymore. Well, that makes the bats easier. They disappear after you kill. It's the same bat that just keeps looping around. Oh, uh, yeah. Because the be. other one doesn't come back when you kill it. Right. Solid yellow. Mm. Very strange that yours was like that. Mm. Just neat thing. It was neat. It was neat, yeah. Now this is making me scared. It's in, uh, it, it, it suddenly went into unicorn mode. <laughs> yeah. Go here? No. Do that every time, I notice. I know. It's like, yeah. Is that? Oh, yeah. No, no, I can't pass Because it's it. <laughs> easy, to, easy to go there and, and, and doesn't and hurt. zip back, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Should no. I just give up? I think I want to just give up. You can give up. Do one more. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's just like I'm not being super careful because... You, but that's what happens after you play for a while. It's hard to keep the precise well, Yeah, the momentum of it up. up. Okay, one more. This is the last one. If I don't do it, I'll just settle with 46 and be like... 46 is good. Fifth it's not place. A bad. As everybody gets no. easily higher than me. No, it's, it's not bad at all. Well, it's not bad. No. <laughs> it's not good. Slide boy vibes. I do like fighting this guy. This guy's kind of fun. You can hurt yourself if you land on his head. So mm. you can't jump too high or too far. Well, I was trying to jump and then run into him. That's what I usually do because I'm scared I'm going to jump on him. So mm, Yeah. But, and then you didn't slam into him just quite enough sometimes. Mm -hmm. together all yeah. my games you right. kind of forget did i do that or not you know because i just did it did like three times in a yeah. row Let's see who the hardcore watchers are who, who are willing to sit through <laughs> this Ten times. <laughs> Listening to green sleeves over and over and over again. We can't turn it off. Uh, it's too quiet then. <laughs> I think it's too quiet. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. I love all the instruments of torture. <laughs> yes. They're great. Stabby stab. Mm -hmm. Another stabby stab. We need to just give these things names. <laughs> um, decorative stabbies? Decorative stabby? Stab Plain stabbies? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you call this. Cube of death. <laughs> it's, more, it's, it's a plane rotating of death. Rotating plane of death, I think, yeah, would be better. Rotating plane of death. It feels like something from the video toaster era of, like, <laughs> sci-fi kids shows. I don't know. Oh, yeah. The title of the show is On That Spinning... Plane. Yes, exactly. <laughs> spinning plane. Yep. Yeah, these are the slightly more decorative stabby things. They've got the nice little flourish. Yeah. Um, laser. Back. I mean, those are lion's heads. Those are easy enough. Lions. Those. Uh, those are. Those are like. Well, uh, the it's hard to say. Sketsies from but uh, the sketsies. They do look a little sketsy-like. Mm. 
Yep. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, they're lion's heads in the 7800s, so. Decorative, decorative stabby things. Um, hmm. Oh, VH said C's off to bed. 128 <laughs> there. Yeah, that is pretty late, so. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We love playing your games. Thank you for coming oh, yes. and chatting with us while we, while we play them, so. Uh, see you on Friday. See you Friday. <laughs> Now this, it's like the, um, oh, it's like a skeletal robotic arm. It Straight kind of looks of a like a spine, film. but it kind of looks like one of those robotic arms at the same time. And a centipede. Don't you have to go back? No. No, 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 no it's no. up there. Centipede. Hmm. Springs. They're springs, but they're very specific type of tightly coiled springs. Springy springs. Springy springs. I don't know why I get the so watch close. springs of eternal damnation. <laughs> this guy is he's terrifying ball of actually. Hate. <laughs> the ball of Cyclops hate. ball of hate. One eyed ball of hate. One eyed ball of hate. He's kinda of got like drippy mouth too. He does. He's great. Flattering and a little concerning too. <laughs> Do I go this way? Yes. Yep. Just because. <laughs> Have a good night. Flattering and a little concerning. <laughs> how we how dedicated we are to his kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. I, mean, I, I swear by sheer skull. time. Uh, we've probably played more VHZC games than any other games. <laughs> Because they're long, they're, they are long. Style, yeah, and right? you push through them. Yeah, and you want to get to the end. Did I scare you? Okay, along the top we go. The pokey kelp of doom. <laughs> All the names are like super long. The terrifying um, <laughs> jellyfish. Jellyfish of stinging? I don't know. This guy. Shark? Mini shark? Um, Is he a mini shark? I don't know what those are. So little room! Secret heads. rooms. Oh yeah, we haven't really looked too much. Because it gives you a lot of life, so maybe there's not a lot of secret rooms. No, we don't have to bother. Oh my goodness, it's the red, red bouncy ball of squishing. <laughs> <laughs> squishing ball. The squishing ball. This guy. He's kind of like a half. Oh no, you know what? He kind of looks like a lizard. Yeah, yeah, like, on the wall. Like yeah, a he's, wall, he's, he's kind got, of wall lizardy. He's got his claws on the yeah. wall. He's stuck to the wall. He's got a tail. He's a lizard. When it disappears. It's true. Oh, see, you've caught on. Is it that way? That no, way. I think you have to go. You have to go this way first, yes. Yeah, I think you're right. But now I know that these aren't as terrifying as they look. They appear, yeah. Because you can die. So I thought, oh my god, the timing is so tight on them. Mm -hmm. But they're actually not. You're gonna fall down too for this. It's and going back is easier. It's true, you don't have to deal jump, with the jump. red bouncy ball of squishing. Um, for, it wasn't 48, because I didn't die on this level. How did I die no. on it? 46. Level? 
This is what I died from. Oh, 49. Yeah, so it was 49. Did you run into it? No, yeah. no, no. You you it died before it. No, oh, this it was, was a second then. death. It must have yeah, been this was a, it was forty six. This was a second death, not a it first. It doesn't matter. It's all a race. <laughs> One last painful level. Oh, I know. Before I finish. I just have to threaten myself <laughs> with this is the last try. <laughs> you don't get any more ever again. <laughs> 51, Dan made it official. <laughs> Woo! Good You're the job. dance of the 51. Oh, Atari's here to celebrate. Excellent. Oh. Whew. Well, thank you, Dan ABC. <laughs> yes. All the people in the chat. VH said she just missed it. I know. Victory dance. Yeah, and arena foot. <laughs> <laughs> Switch it back. So I'm in second place. Forever. No one can beat me. <laughs> Which is a good, good place to be. I'll take second. <laughs> Give me what you're having. Want to get loaded too? <laughs> uh, the victory dance. Ah, uh, so uh, today we played Vroom, which has been massively increased in awesomeness. Um, it was pretty good before, but it's even yeah. better. It's like it's got uh, a lot of add-ons. Yeah, Thomas Yanch. Yeah, yeah, Thomas Yanch did an awesome job. Very, on it. very, very I, fun. I think he's going to do really well in the competition. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't know what the categories are. Is it just open? It's all retro systems? Not sure. Mm. Uh, they all compete against each other. I don't know. It didn't seem to have any limits. It's just like you make a game and you enter it in. Mm. Um, yeah. It, it, it's a little hard on the thumb because you're constantly pressing. But for a fun multiplayer, quick pick it up game, anybody mm. can understand it. It's awesome. Um, and especially the fact that you can play eight people at a time. That's amazing, yeah. It's amazing. I can't wait to, to have Pack at least a few people that we can play it with. So. Yeah, and when we have a game night next mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. we'll definitely that bring out. that out. Yeah. That and and take a picture for, for Thomas Yen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of actually eight people playing <laughs> yeah. it. Because that'll probably be the like first time <laughs> anybody can play. Anybody have a family of eight mm -hmm. that they can play? It's and a, a Quantari and Atari yeah. 2600? Yeah. And, yep. and, and. Yep, 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 yep. Um, played Local Hero 2. I wish those bugs weren't there. We could have played it longer. Mm. Proper game. because mm. But you just can't play it as your um, normal person mode for long. Mm. Because otherwise you get stuck in a wall. And then also that jittery thing started happening and bugged out. But mm. I think it's got a lot of uh, fun things to it that mm. you have to manage. You have to like watch the time, go back home and sleep, go to your job, go to school. No, not the job. You have to go to school. Yeah, there was the a university. job. The university. There was a job. Yeah. Yep. You have to catch bad guys. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward for yeah. that one for a really nice manual. Yes. That explains. I, I picture the manual being almost like a comic book, too. Oh, it's got to be a comic it's book. It's got to be a comic oh, book. Oh, that's that'd be um, awesome. Yeah, because it's just so... There's such a nice story, and it's such it's a game that really... It feels like a modern game. I don't mm -hmm. know if there are other games from that era of gaming that have that kind of display... The, no, there is there is one. Yeah. That had an, a top view and a, a forward view. I uh, think. Yeah. Uh, but there was actually multiple games where it had mini maps as okay. well. Yes, mini maps. Like even yeah. Keystone Capers had a mini map. That's true. On the bottom. Yeah. There's multiple ones like that. Mm. That was kind of a full map. I really right, like the whole that. Game it, it and looked a three D really view. Really cool. Really, yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. The, whenever I say, "Oh, I don't think 
there was a game like that, somebody always says, yes, there was. Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> so I, I rarely you say that anymore. Know. Yeah, you might not know, but... Sometimes I can go, yeah, that's never been done before. Yeah, yeah but... But he, he likes making these in-depth adventure games. I love like that, he's though. Made, he's, he's working on Pantheon 2 now. Nice. Actually, which Pantheon was a really, was really cool. Really good game. You, you get really immersed into it. It was a yep. really good game, yeah. So I don't know what else he's going to add to Pantheon. There's all the major mythos he used up right? yeah 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 but there's lots more to go mm. and then night guy in low res world castle days masterpiece again it's not done so we get to look forward to playing it some more mm. um and next time we don't have to worry about lives <laughs> yeah we'll just be able to play it normally and not not worry about that mm. um, but if i can make it to level 51 on the first life i should be able to be pretty good for the rest of the game mm and make it to the end good. without uh without dying completely good um yeah <laughs> really great add-ons mm -hmm. that he put in so i'm looking forward to more awesome bosses and stuff yep. we'll see he's got a lot of games on the go and multiple platforms 7800 and 2600 he's got like a bunch that he's like in progress almost done on mm. yeah so let's see what's coming up in the next few shows obviously the next show on friday is the big big one we've been waiting for uh friday the 12th it's at a special time 4 p.m do not wait till 6 you might catch the last minute of it and you'll be like oh no what mm. the hell it's early 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 4 p.m 4 p.m two hours earlier yep. 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern yeah midnight in europe in GMT, so even the Europeans can maybe catch can it. Stay up a little late yeah, on the Friday, yeah, you know, if they don't have much else going on. Get some sleep the next day. Yeah, get some, <laughs> get some sleep before mm. yeah, six p.m. Central. Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, then after that, on the Tuesday, we're gonna have the Dragonfly Cart special. Nice. Now that we have the Dragonfly Cart, yes. we'll finally be able to play EXO. Mm -hmm. um, and also Pac-Man Collection. Oh, nice. There's yeah. going to be a bunch of demos that use the special sound chips nice. on the cart mm -hmm. that are available nowhere else so that we'll be able to listen to those demos in full glory. Mm -hmm. um, even that uh, robots thing that we weren't able to hear the sound properly. We'll be able to see it and hear the sound. Mm -hmm. um, after that, 2600 games again. Uh, what did I say I was going to do on the next 2600 show? Said it at the beginning of the show. Can't remember. Oh, well. Uh, Hunger Shark. Dragon Hunt, maybe. And then 7800 show. Cosmic Cabby. Worm. Dungeon Stalker. Wizard's Dungeon has been updated a lot. Mm. It's really cool now. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So definitely going to be playing that. Like anything called Dungeons. So. On the yeah. Friday after um and then not too much planned atari's joined us hello sir um and a uh interview developer spotlight in uh april mm. probably i'm gonna probably made mid-april mid-april yeah give planning. me some time yep to catch up to yep yep get that prepared for bob decrezenzo nice pac-man plus nice, nice, on nice. the atari age forums and uh you know probably in the summer we're going to do dan kitchen's game mm -hmm. when that comes out now that that's kind of been announced again yeah excellent no hdmi choo-choo for you no we don't want no. that and a, another that's... special unannounced event as well we'll see when that is that might be coming soon too um no point much point in saying that uh um oh yep dan puts it's the Atari little the cat. The cat is Let's here. Let's put up the Atari cat. Yes. And there he is. So, oh, not twice. Oh, well, you're getting two Ataris. Double trouble. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so remember, tune in next time, 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for uh, sticking with us, Dan, whoever else is lurking. Yes. Arena, Arena Foot, Foot still lurking around. VHZC, uh, Metal mm -hmm. Lunar. Yes, hello. Vitoko, Spiceware, Jared Gray West, Kathy Joikos, uh, Andrew Davy, the Flammy, Flamy, Flamy, <laughs> Flammy, 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 one of those, Cafe uh, Man, S. Sounds, Ramirez. Oh, calm down. It sounds like it was his first time tuning in yeah, as well. Just He's asking questions. Yeah. 
Andrew Davey. I know you've said these already. <laughs> uh, Ricardo Pym? It's Kev73. Oh, I didn't even see him coming. Yeah, he popped in. Ricardo Pym. Oh, I read his thing out and I didn't say who it was. I oh, didn't no. even notice. Ricardo Pym. Yep. Fierro oh, Doug. Nice. D Train. On the fur. Ooh, old School 70. Great show. Thank you, Dan. And thank you for putting on the Harmony Harmony Games and uh, picking ones that I did very that I can do well in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Zevius. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's it. Zevius. We're gonna play Zevius okay. on the twenty six hundred show. Okay. Uh, on the nineteenth. So we'll do that as the last game. Nice. Nobody wants to watch us play for two hours, getting high <laughs> scores, and then going on to games. That's why we put the high scores at the end. At the end. Yeah. 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 Fair it's enough. A better spot. <laughs> and then we know when we're getting tired too. Yeah. Right, Atari. It's like feed me. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so next time, expert level for Z. Oh my God! I die within like a minute on expert <laughs> level. Oh boy. But makes it quick. Mm. Yep. Uh, so. Remember, big show, huge show. Next episode, Friday in three days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three days. Tune in, 4 p.m. Told you you wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have David Crane. We're going to have Gary Kitchen. We're going to have Dan Kitchen. We're going to have the premiere mm -hmm. of... Circus Convoy. We're going to talk about Audacity Games. Nice. We're going to talk about the future of what they're going to be making. We're going nice. to talk about that mysterious PCB board that everybody saw. It's like, what yeah. is that? Da, da. Yeah. <laughs> and all the questions that you have, please uh, send them in. Mm -hmm. um, you can um, type them on the Atari Age forum under anywhere that I'm posting or on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter mm -hmm. or any other way even email me james at zero page homebrew.com i never say that because nobody uses email anymore <laughs> it's just to have it <laughs> and so we're out of here thanks for tuning in and uh we will see everyone and i bet everyone on friday so have a good week oh uber bells <sighs> just got in this is <laughs> napalm just caught the last bit so uber bells come back friday yeah <laughs> earlier much much earlier for the big big show have a good a week and yes. see everybody on Friday. Bye-bye.